What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Just Run. My name is Quincy the DM. You're not even trying to make it comprehensible anymore. They know who we are. Like, let's get, let's just get, no, tip. dude. What's up, everybody? Welcome to <laughs> Just Roll With It. I'm Grizzly the DM. And these are my players. Onions have layers. One well, Bisley. You know I play cheap. Oh, 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 dude, what oh, the f Yuck. Dude, on me? Seriously? Why me, oh. dude? Did it get you guys too? It's like a spread. Oh, yeah, God. no, that was like a shark. Oh, you're, doing you're just doing funny accents. <laughs> oh, I'm Condi. <laughs> I'm playing Jay Farron. Top of the session to you. Let's fucking hop right in here. <laughs> 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 Potatoes. <laughs> let's, let's, let's get rolling. <laughs> oh, right. Let's get rolling. Where we last left off, the three of you, Chip, Jay, and Gillian, captains of the Riptide Pirates, unified back in your ship after a night of shopping, searching, and dealing with it, end quote. The following day, you began your task to infiltrate Raft HQ at the pinnacle of Allport, and despite Eden's insistent de uh, de de deterrence? Deterrence. Deterrence. Deterrence, yeah, yeah, yeah. From causing a scene Who's and endangering Terrence? the peace. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, okay. Despite Eden's insistent deterrence from causing a scene and endangering the peace of the innocents, you all caused immediate mayhem at the stairway leading to the third level of the hull of Allport. Chip being chased around by a hulking soldier with a hammer, narrowly avoiding being arrested. Meanwhile, Gillian and Jay subduing a soldier and escaping the sight of more that had been alerted, ascending the tower wall to the third level via Gillian's slug enhancements. And once inside Raft HQ, Chip forced a young rookie, Cedric, to be his guide as Gillian and Jay broke into one of the four elevator shafts. However, when passing by the entryway to the second level, a soldier, exiting a chamber with keys in hand, muttered that the Chosen One was a freak, prompting Gillian to pursue. Being led to a center for control and communications, Gillian then proceeded to lock himself in the room with these soldiers and destroy everything within. Just as this was in motion, Chip and Jay reached the third level, keeping up this ruse as Chip was magically disguised as the hammer-wielding soldier from earlier, deceiving all but Cedric who spotted a hidden Jay. He recognized Jay, but only in similarities to her late sister Ava, who inspired him. And because of this, put his faith in the two of you, and decided not to snitch on your sneakiness. Jay and Chip then eavesdropped on one of the uh, Vice Admirals, Kuba Kinta's office, overhearing <clears throat> important details of both the location of the artificial Leviathan and its estimated time of completion. And so, the journey continues. Guys, who are we yep. starting with? I'll let you decide. I was gonna pick, uh, but now you oh, get to fuck. pick. All right, can we roll? No can we roll? Can we, do you want to roll? I mean, I just yeah. Let's let do you guys what, what? What dice do you want to roll? D twenty. Whoever gets higher goes first. Yep. I got a five. I got a fifteen. Okay, so we go first. Okay. Yeah. Damn it! Another chip <laughs> solo session. Rah, damn it, dude! This keeps happening. Yeah, I'm not Except gonna tell Jay's you what happens this All time All right, either. Chip and Jay, you guys are currently in the uh, like sort of this kind of armory storage room with guns on, uh, like I described before, guns just kind of laid out in a row on the on the walls and all kinds of stuff. Barrels just looks like a normal armory. A little bit of uh, uh, like kind of like chest armor and stuff, but nothing too fancy in here. And uh, what are you guys doing? So Chip, I know I said that like, if we were gonna blow anything up, this would be the place, but are we sure we wanna blow something up in this nape? We're gonna die. Jay, what happened? I thought you wanted to blow something up. I didn't wanna blow something up. I was actually vehemently against it this entire time. Yeah, you said we were gonna blow something up and now you're saying we're not gonna blow something up. Listen, you're the one who wanted to blow something up, not Don't, me. hey, don't take this from me, please. <laughs> I need this. I grabbed the oil out of his hand. <laughs> no, don't, come on, no, now. listen. Hey, Both of you roll a perception check. 18. Oh, a natural 20 maybe? No, that's a, that's a 18 as well. Why do your right. dice roll so comically slow? <laughs> it's because I, I okay. watched Netflix with my girlfriend and I had to turn off. Yeah, 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 yeah. so what, you have a girlfriend. 
Yeah, yeah dude, none of our listeners it. are going to be able to relate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We understand. Right, You're cool. Whatever. Yeah, Just yeah. kidding, listeners. Yeah. Love you. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> what? Put <laughs> 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 your responses to that comment with hashtag JRWI show. In the midst of your arguments, both of you would hear faintly outside of the door, somewhat down the hall from which you came, stomping. Chip <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what is that? What is that? What is that? And then you Chip hear. Trouble. Hmm. So, uh, we have a couple rats in the building. <laughs> I was failing a snack or two. How did he figure it out? We were so discreet. Chip, we've been yelling in here for the last 10 and minutes. And the foot stomps get louder and faster as it starts to. <laughs> Chip, coming to your direction. Hide. Chip, we have to is hide. The, is the door open right now? It's closed. Uh, what do you do? Okay, okay, okay. I hide. I I cast pass without a trace, and then I hide. <laughs> Where are you guys hiding? Are you picking um, like behind some barrels or something? Sure. All right. The so closest I'll say, place. I I hide in a barrel of knives. <laughs> <laughs> they never think to look there. Have you thought I about guess. um? Have you thought about what your magic looks like when you cast pass without a trace? Just for visuals. Uh, I haven't. If you don't, Jay farts. J farts. <laughs> yeah. If you don't J farts, then it's a big cloud. So you better. All right, that's me. disgusting. Um, Forget I ask. <laughs> yeah, Forget you stop ask. asking questions like that. Yeah. We can say uh, uh, one of the tip of your arrows. You pop it off, and it just kind of like uh, apparates this bit of black mist that coats you and J uh, you and Chip as you split off into two different directions. Jay, you dip underneath the the row, kind of like that that long shelf of, of pistols, and Chip, you duck behind some uh, uh, some barrels. And go ahead and roll stealth check, both of you. It'll be yeah, a plus, plus 10. 10 with your uh, pass without trace. 29 plus 10, 39. Mm. Oh my <laughs> god! You got a nat 20 on that shit. That's crazy. Dude, he did. You are so gone. And Jay's is still rolling. Oh, uh, it's 20 on the dot. Dirty 20. Yep. Thank God you fucking had pass without trace considering yeah. you rolled a 10. You guys both duck into your respective corners and you hear <laughs> the door gets slammed open as if kicked through. And you hear this the heavy foot stomps falling onto the wooden ground as it just creaks and you hear sniffing. <laughs> Come out, little rats. Jay whispers to herself, I hope he can't smell us. Chip smells really fucking bad right now. <laughs> <laughs> that, dude, that gas without trace did not help. No, 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 not that one. Not that one. Not this Come time. on. Come on. That was good. Not this time. That was not good. This time. I'm gonna, no, no, I'm going to say it. I'm going to no. say it to the DM, and if no, he likes it, it's it. going to become canon. Yeah. No, yeah. no, no, no. Don't say it yeah. again. What? Yeah. Thank God for that gas without trace. <laughs> <laughs> it's so. In. Come on, little rats. You guys, hold your breath and clutch the shirt on your chests. As, Jay, you watch these two very large uh, metal, almost like blue steel metal boots with pointed tips, just kind of stomp right in front of your face and stop and turn to face the, uh, the pistols that are currently obscuring your body as a moment of silence and tension. And you hear that... And he turns and keeps walking around. I could have sworn I sniffed out a couple of rats in here. No. <laughs> Do either of you peek just to get a glimpse of what you're looking at? Oh, yeah, all day. Okay. <laughs> Jay doesn't. Jay, you, yeah, you're, you're, you're huddled. He, he was just in front of me. I'm not peeking. <laughs> Chip, as I he's turning uh, now to face away from where Jay is hiding, you just kind of peek one eye out. And you know that you're hidden because you hide from things, uh, from danger all the time. It's kind of one of your master skill sets. And you peek out and you see. Um, oh, it seems to be a, a, a really large humanoid with uh, tiger 
esque features. Both uh, the shape of the head looks like a tiger, and and the the body is just covered in fur. It's this orange fur tiger with uh, with like really long white uh, hair that that kind of like blends in from the orange fur and then comes down just to the so the shoulders with black spots all along the forehead and on the hands. And you notice when you look at the hands, they're almost kind of backwards as he is just kind of like uh, uh, um, uh, moving around things on, on uh, uh, not in front of you, but kind of in close proximity as he's just kind of like uh, s sliding barrels and they just kind of get knocked over or pushed back a little bit, kind of looking around and sniffing. Is he turned away from me at the present moment or at any moment in this time? He is, he is, I would say he's not looking in your direction. Can I? But he is, uh, he, he is he's in a, the, he's in, he's close. <laughs> and, he, and he has fur, correct? Yeah, he has fur. No. <laughs> so let me tell you that he's wearing, you know, a Navy Admiral's uh, sort of suit. <laughs> I just want to reach out and like pet for half a second and then like creep. I have a 40 on stealth. I, I can like feel him a little bit. That's like, that's not stealth. <laughs> I, come on, let me okay, feel okay. how soft he is. Just if, for it. <laughs> this is not, go ahead and roll sleight of hand. Fuck it. Lose, if you're coming a, out of your hiding lose, to touch lose, the fur, <laughs> lose, lose. what would it be like 17. on his fucking hand? Because everything else is clothed. <laughs> You brush his hand. I brush his hand, sure. <laughs> you reach out. I brush his, his hand romantically. Hand. I'm like, I'm like creeping behind, eyes wide. I just gotta reach my hand out. Boop. Right back. He didn't see it. Something could have fell. He don't know. Stares in shock. Jay, you would, your eyes would open wide as you would watch slowly Chip's hand to sort of uh, reach out and try and grab what is the backwards hand, like I said before. It's not sitting on the right plane of, You're of rotation. You're touching the palm of this man's hand. It is fucking backwards, <laughs> and you see he's, he's wearing that same kind of like, uh, uh, almost like a more raspberry reddish suit that the vice admirals wear, except he has a, a, a different color pants and those, those blue, like, almost like knight armor uh, uh, boots that come out of point, and... Uh, but he saw. Yeah, Chip, you s slightly touch his fur on, on his finger. And as you do, it twitches. He swirls around hastily. And you look up to meet his gaze. And this terrifying, terrifying smile just creeps across his face. I kind of, uh, the, the tips almost hit the edges and corner the corners of his eyes and it's toothy with sharp tiger like teeth and as he exhales you see a bit of steam uh, uh and the breath just hits your face and he goes ah there we are go and roll initiative what the fuck <laughs> what do you mean what the fuck bro? i okay no no because i rolled a 29 plus 10 and i rolled a 17. Yeah, yeah. oh you did and you were fine you were fine <laughs> you were you fine. were good you were fine. You i were, just you were wanted fine. to know if it was soft Bisley, you best your case, <laughs> literally the best case scenario in this incredible risk versus reward is the dm says the word soft that's the that's the best thing that could have happened. That is like the that is the good outcome. I rolled a natural right. one, which is very fitting. I also rolled a natural oh one. Oh my god, you guys rolled I thought I rolled really bad, but you guys rolled worse. <laughs> okay. Uh <laughs> um <laughs> Dude <laughs> That's not you don't want to hear these sounds from the DM. So his backwards hand, uh, he just kind of like puts it in front of his face and he goes for this large sweeping claw strike across your face, Chip. Uh, that's going to be, oh my god, uh, 25 to hit. Yeah, that'll hey. do it. Oh my god. You take, <laughs> you take 10 points of, uh, of slashing damage and you feel this almost this horrendous uh, crippling it's it's like a terrifying energy just seep into you as it uh, as you could strike by this but you okay. don't feel what the effects are i for surely uncanny and he makes dodge. another attack on you that's only gonna be a 10 to hit so nope 
So as soon as that strike hits, it fills you with this ex existential dread almost immediately. And you, as the second uh, claw comes across and swipes down towards you, you duck out of the way. Uh, next up is going to be Chip. I run. <laughs> Come here, rat. Fancy footwork. I get away. He doesn't get an opportunity minute. attack. I'm running. It didn't work. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, you said something don't about you opportunity to, attack. Don't you have to attack for fancy footwork, though? You do, do I have to? Okay. Sure. Then I'll attack him. Fuck it. I'm gonna unarmed strike him. Eleven to hit. Uh, you miss. As he just kind of grabs your wrist in that moment, not actually being grappled, but that's the flavor. You go for this kind of like uh, <laughs> brawler strike, and he just dodges and then grabs your wrist as it's just kind of uh, uh, right next to his head. He's and he smiles, and goes. <sighs> you are really scary, but your hand is so soft. <laughs> but I run. He finally found out. <laughs> All right, you wanna uh, you fancy footwork and you start bolting out of there straight for the door. How much movement can you get without running feet. away? Thirty feet. And I can bonus action dash, so I'm gonna do that. Oh my god, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> oh, okay. That's adorable. All right, uh, so Jay. <laughs> you watch Chip. This all, this this whole kind of uh, fiasco go down with Chip, and uh, as he misses that punch, he ducks under it and just kind of uh, his wrist just slips right out of the grasp, uh, and he bolts through that, or that door is already open, so he just kind of like zooms past you and out of the room, not even paying any mind, and he's just gone. You can't even. Uh, you start to hear his footsteps run down the 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 hallway that you guys. I'd like to recall if there's any windows on the on this this floor. There like is no the windows elevator. in this room. What about the floor in general, like I... by the elevator? Oh, I mean, this room is like right by the elevator. Uh, you would have to go down a few levels just to get to the to the to a close window. I mean, like there's not a window outside of every single <clears throat> level, if that makes sense, because it would just get covered by the elevator. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. But uh, so you're telling me we'd have to wait for the elevator to go down? Or or, well, it, you do what you want to do on your turn. Chip, I would say that you were able to actually get, because this room is so close to the elevator, you can get to the elevator shaft, and you would see, like, the elevator is not presently there. Okay. It's just that kind of, like, empty chamber of the wall, yeah. and you look yeah, down, no. so, and it's all the way on the bottom floor at the moment. So, so I okay, could surely get to the elevator. I could. That's the... Yeah. Yeah. Is his office um, open? Is it That's open? in the opposite direction. I, well, as I'm then, running out, hallway. though, that's the great question, though. To know, as I'm running out, looking over, you would I have seen no, no, no. his office you, you open or closed? You can't look over from where you are right now and see the office. You would have to run in that direction. Mm. Because it, it would it would take all of your movement just to get back to that office with Dash. Risk it all, baby. We're going to the office. All right. So instead of turning right and uh, and, and getting to the elevator shaft, <laughs> you sorry. you take the opposite direction and you run down this kind of like uh this walkway past many other doors and uh curving around that that, that corner and you start running towards where the uh the four giant doors are to the offices and that more like open round chamber and you uh i mean the door is shut but you get to the office what are you doing jay <laughs> he's still in the room with you you have no idea where chip went i'm gonna say that That's right now true. Well, I would probably like if I ran out the door around. With, the same I mean, time with passive perception, you can you can hear his like footsteps get further and further away, but you don't know like where he went or where he's going. Scene caused. Or yeah, <laughs> scene has been successfully caused. And it was caused okay. a while ago, but. <laughs> um, no, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep my stealth in here, and and leave Chip to his business for this turn. Okay, so you're just gonna keep hiding. I'm gonna Not keep gonna hiding. Not gonna do anything. No move. All no right, move. I'm gonna hold. All good. All up. good. Top of the I'm round. Showing. It's Vice Admiral Koopa Kenta, and you watch Jay as he goes, he smiles, and he just kind of like turns his shoulders back to look towards the door, and you watch his whole form, and he disappears. Did he just double his... No. no, I don't think he doubled his speed. I think he... You, hear, Actually, you, you, you watch him steps. disappear, and then you hear his footsteps run out of the room. And they get oh. fainter and fainter as he runs away. I think he just fucking cloaked. Wow, good luck. Chip, okay. Okay, um, do I hear him getting close to me? No. Nope. No? Okay, You can make a reception um, check if you want. I open the door, I'm opening the door, I'm gonna open it. I know it's gonna do an alarm, it doesn't matter, I'm gonna open it. Okay, yeah, easy enough, it's still unlocked, you open the door. Yes! Uh, it is another one of these kind of like rectangular chambers that has been built uh, on the, the outer rim of this circular chamber and you walk in, it's got the desks, it's all kinds of like, uh, uh, trophies, like, like, almost like, 
it's like a hunter's room where it has like heads of different like creatures and foes and even a few humanoid kind of heads that are just hung up on the walls around his uh, around his desk. Okay. And uh, yeah, what are you doing? What are you looking for? Are you looking I, for anything? I'm looking around for any plants, anything relating to the false Leviathan. Okay, investigation check, and this is your action. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. Is absolutely. there a window in this room? <laughs> Sorry. Um, there is a window a, in this room. Okay. That's, that's going to be a 22. <laughs> I was gonna say, how drab would that be if you had to be in an office? All no, no, no. Like, I mean, like the offices have windows, <laughs> but like the, the the hallways and stuff don't really. Uh, twenty two is what you said for investigation. Yep, twenty two. Yep, for investigation. Okay, yeah. Uh, also easy enough because there's a bunch of papers, uh, sort of like, uh, uh sticking outside of this like leather bound or, le or strap leather bound book, uh, that is still sitting on top of his desk. It just looks like it was closed, and the papers just kind of like smushed into it. Um, mm -hmm. that's like the most notable thing you see. You would have to, uh, the drawers and stuff are locked, like, to the desk. So they would yep. take a, another turn and another action just trying to break it soon. But that is the one thing that's, like, sticking out to you. Okay. Um, and you can swipe it easily now. Yeah, I swipe it. Bonus action hide. Okay, roll stealth. You don't have the plus 10 anymore. It's okay. Ah, 14. Good to know. Next up, Jake, what are you doing? Um, I'm going to start slowly sneaking my way outside of the room and, like, try to figure out where Chip went. <laughs> Okay, you sneak out of the room. Uh, I'll say go ahead and roll another stealth check. Okay. I still have a... Because you're in a different location now? Yeah, you do. Wow, even worse, 16. Um... Okay. And, uh, I mean, you look out. You, you walk out into the hallway, and you see uh, to the left, there's that, that, that the walkway that you guys went down uh, along with Cedric just to get to the offices, which is a bit of a ways, uh, as mm -hmm. it kind of, like, wraps around this big tower building. And you, to your right, like, just... You know, a few feet away is the elevator shaft. <laughs> but you don't see Chip in sight on your turn right now. I'm going to hide next to the elevator shaft for the time being and see if I hear Chip. I'm not going to leave him behind. Okay, completely. go ahead and make a perception check. Uh, 19. You can just faintly hear... I mean, you can hear, like, the door a door open uh, down that hallway, you know, where you guys were, where the offices were. Mm -hmm. But you also hear, faintly, mm -hmm. coming from below... This ruckus, kind of like this muffled low pass, as if you have really rowdy neighbors. <laughs> this <laughs> barrage of movement, <laughs> as if a bunch of rocks are falling beneath you. Gillian, tired strider. <laughs> you would assume that this is coming from where Gillian is at the moment. I love my crew. Chip, you're hiding. Are you hiding like beneath the desk or? What's going on? Um, I would say if there's some curtains, I'll just be sitting behind the curtains. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're sitting behind the curtains. Feet fully out, like under it. <laughs> Wiggling my toes underneath it. And you're sitting there trying not to, to keep your breath low and quiet. And you're holding, you're clutching onto this book that you're trying to like just sort of shimmy into. Uh, are you still wearing that? No, no, no. You let go of that cloak. So you're just kind of like shimming it into your pants, probably. Mm -hmm. And in a sudden movement, the curtain just kind of... <laughs> gets uh, 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 rang back, exposing your entire body, and you see <laughs> that big frightening figure, the tiger figure, look at you and go, well, hello. Scream like a girl. <laughs> I, I obviously hear this scream, right? <laughs> you hear, hear the scream. And uh, that scream at that years. moment, there's his form just kind of apparates and appears in front of you as if he just drops some kind of invisibility. There is an obvious little girl in danger right down the hall. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, a little girl needs me! <laughs> first things first, Chip, go ahead and roll a contested strength check. Okay. You or can you, can you, you can do acrobatics or athletics, yes. Uh, acrobatics. Oh, shit. Fuck! Oh no! Dude, I no. just rolled a seven! No! <laughs> oh my god. I got god. a six! Oh no. my god. Oh no. Jesus Christ. So with that, his hand is still in that backwards kind of like position. He grabs your throat and clutches it and you can feel that the, the claws sink in and he goes, I'd like to know what you measly pirates are thinking before I end you here. And I need you to make a, a, wisdom, uh, a wisdom saving throw. 17. Oh, you just fucking barely fail it, dude. No, dog! I thought you were gonna say pass! Oh, shit. Chip. DC 18? This guy is incredibly powerful. I thought this was made super, super clear last episode, how how insane this guy would be, considering, you know, he's he's okay, the same but... rank as, as my father, who kicked our asses. <laughs> Chip, you would feel 
as his eyes just menacingly get lower and his and it pierces into your gaze it's almost like you can feel his wheel exert into your mind and uh first things first is what are your surface thoughts ow <laughs> no give me your surface thoughts like anything don't pee don't pee, don't pee don't pee don't pee don't pee don't pee i don't know I'm just scared um surface thoughts and you feel i want to you feel that pressure start to crush deeper and deeper into your subconscious. I really want to burn it down. I really want to set this place on fire. I really want to set a fire. I really want to burn everything they know down. I know about the false Leviathan. I'm going to burn all their information. I'm going to burn it. <laughs> mm, sneaky little rat, aren't you? And that's his turn. God, I hope that paw was soft, bro, because Jesus Christ. <laughs> it was. It was real soft. Uh, was next up, nice Chip, what are you fluffy, doing? Man. Can I get out? Uh, yeah, you can make another check. I'm rolling off. 16. Yeah, I roll a six. So you're good. You snap snap out of that clutch, that <clears throat> that, uh, that hand clutching your throat. What's the plan? I run to the window, I pray it works this time, and I put the grappling hook out, and I jump out with the rope. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> so, Jay, you would hear the shattering of glass is chip. Uh, you run. Where are you putting the grappling hook? On the windowsill. Okay. He can so, just unhook it. Oh my drop. god. <laughs> no, I kind of just want to. I yeah. want to, like. I think he can also just down. opportunity you. Yeah. I mean, yeah, he'll get an ah, opportunity yeah, attack, but I'm just saying, like, he what can. you're doing first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm trying to do. Um, I'm using the dice covered in blood. Why? Does an 18 hit your armor glass? Yeah. You feel the strike. Slash across your back as you throw the grappling hook and try and hook it onto the window seal, and you just, uh, uh, or like the base of the window, and you just jump straight out um, of the window. Jay, you would hear this crash. Glad you're getting use out of this, bro. And you, you would take me, I wanna do my <laughs> best with it. six more points of slashing damage. Chip just got thrown out of a window. Okay. Yeah. Um, I jumped down the elevator shaft and cast Featherfall on myself. <laughs> All right. Um, you have 30 feet of movement, and I'll say it's about 20 feet of a fall to get to, um, it's probably actually 30 feet of a fall just to get, like, to the second level entryway. Yeah, I want to get to the second level entryway and get to the window that we already broke through. And this, um, that, that would be the first level. Would that be first level? I thought we yep. were. Well, second, second level, level entryway is where Gillian, uh, walked into, and as you're kind of falling past the entryway, something immediately grabs your attention. But we're going to switch over to Gillian here. Oh, God. <laughs> My eyes widen. Yep. <laughs> so, Gillian, roll initiative, baby. Dude, I've been waiting two weeks to absolutely get murked. Okay, here we go. Dude, this is the worst. Anything is gone. <laughs> My initiative ever. is five. There are four soldiers in this room as you dissipate the fog cloud, and one of them yep. is right in front of you. I'm going to say they kind of all go uh, at the same at the same time here. That's cool. Yep. One of them has a... a you, you immediately see that one of them has a different objective. Uh, okay. seemingly trying to get some kind of, uh, like, semblance of communication going here, <laughs> while the other three are gonna try and subdue you. Okay. Uh, so this one, uh, the one that is kind of, like, uh, just across the room is gonna take out his, his kind of, like, long musket-looking gun that was attached to his back, and he points out, and he goes, All right! Here we go! Watch out, Jeffrey! And he pulls the trigger. That's a natural 20! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Are you fucking kidding me? Because it was an natural 20, you take 18 points of piercing damage from this oh shot god. as it just goes straight through uh, 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 kind of like the clavicle area and it just shoots and, and, and tears a bunch of the flesh surrounding that bone around your shoulder and you can immediately feel it. <gasps> Holy <Stings. laughs> shit! <laughs> and the one that's kind of right in front of you takes out his rapier and he tries to just uh, parry the, the, the strike that, that you have ready. Uh, with the golden lotus and he's gonna go for a strike himself here that is i'm sorry i'm rolling better now that we're against gillian um <laughs> i rolled an 18. yeah that it's hits. gonna be a 22 to hit yeah that hits this is fine for you <laughs> <laughs> okay 25 points of piercing <laughs> okay all right okay and he just stabs next to your uh next to your kind of hip uh, and then the, another one's gonna come for you, but he totally fucking misses. I actually just rolled an, uh, a nine. Not gonna okay. happen. All, All right. right. So that one comes in and just like strikes behind you. You're kind of uh, flanked now by these two soldiers. Uh, oh, one of them shit. across the room with a gun. Oh my god. All right, Gillian, it's your turn. What are you doing? 
<laughs> okay. Um, where's the guy that's that's trying to do the comms thing? Where's that guy at? What's he doing right now? He's Is like he an. Running? He's like in the. So pretend like you're still next to the door that you just froze over. One mm -hmm. guy's in front of you. One guy's behind you. To your left, across the room is going to be that, that guy with the, the long musket. And then to his right in the corner of the room is gonna be this uh, uh, this other guy kind of fiddling with stuff. All right, um, let's see, let's see, let's see. How far away is the guy with the musket? 15-ish uh, feet. 15-ish feet? Okay, all right, all right. In that case, uh, I am just going to nobody smack. This, yeah, nobody in this room is too far from you. Okay, cool, cool. Um, Oh man, Gillian is bad at, 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 at fights like this. Um, I am just going to uh, smack one of the guys next to me and see how it goes. Okay, roll it. Oh, this, this Jeffrey? Um, <laughs> so. That's yeah, a, I'm Jeffrey, that's what of it? A 12 uh, and a 13 to hit, bro. Uh oh. <laughs> well, 13 hits. Okay. Oh. Um, I. You know what? Fuck Jeffrey. Uh,. <laughs> I'm gonna use uh, favored by the gods on the other roll to add two d4 to it, so it hits. Kay. So both attack. Hit. Okay, so now that's a 18 to hit. Yeah, both will hit. Okay, Jeffrey takes 21 damage. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Did you okay. kill him? <laughs> I, was, I, was, I I want it to be non-lethal. All right, how do you want to do this on Jeffrey? <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Holy shit. Um, I want to fully, if he's grabbing me from behind, I just reach over my back and I want to completely like hurl him across the room just into a wall where he splats Looney Tune style and stays. <laughs> okay. what? What, are you, what are you doing? Ah! And just gets Any out. more Jeffries I should know about? <laughs> so Jeffrey is out, the one who was right in front of you and you, uh, you attack the one behind right. you as well. What is that damage? Uh... Oh no, that was th no, that was that was both attacks on Jeffrey. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's that out was, the no, first that was strike. Both attack. That was both attacks. Oh, you know what? Yeah, bonus action. I'm gonna compel duel the guy that's trying to get communications. Okay. Hey, why don't you communicate with me? Um. So, uh, he needs to make a wisdom saving throw. Uh, roll down eleven. Uh, he fails. So, uh, he can't move more than uh 30 feet away from me and he has to um yeah he's drawn to you uh, has disadvantage on attack rolls against creatures other than you and must make a wisdom saving throw every time it attempts to move to a space that is more than 30 feet away is this room even 30 feet no fuck oh, well i did it anyway your eyes light up and his eyes match the same glow as he uh, sets down whatever this kind of like doohy that he's like working on trying to probably repair one of the uh, uh communications and he goes well, all right. And he just pulls out this gun and it spins around and he goes, yes. Take this, you bastard Wait, no, bitch! God, stop! And he goes, bam, he shoots <laughs> That's an illegal move! <laughs> That's a 17 plus. Yeah, that hits, uh, dude. Yeah, that hits. 18, 19, 20, 21? Dog, that hits, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. My AC is 13 right now. Oh my god! That's right! You take 11 points of piercing damage. Fuck me. Because <laughs> you get shot this once again. So bad. <laughs> um, oh, my other shoulder. <laughs> he watches the guy with the mustard goes, What are you doing? Fix the goddamn comms! No. Wait, that was it's the, not that, your destiny. That was actually the guy right in front of you who you're, you're in melee with now. The guy with the musket takes another shot. I rolled two. That's, yeah, that's not going to do Doesn't it. Doesn't hit? All right, nope. all right. Uh, and the one that's next to you right now is going to take a swipe with a sword. I okay. rolled a 14. 14 hits, yeah. 10, 11, 10 points of piercing damage. Okay. All right. <laughs> this is, mm -hmm. I've taken yeah. like 60 damage, bro. And it's your turn once again. <clears throat> what are you doing? Okay. Um, We're going to subdue him. I know I'm trying, you doof. Uh, I am going to... Use, oh Jesus, man! This is so much worse than I could have expected. Okay, 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 okay. Four v one. It's fine. I've got a plan. So I'm gonna use thirty lay on hands, boys, on myself. Uh, I'm going to put my hands out, uh, and I'm going to I'm I'm gonna just grab the person next to me and suck the moisture out of them. <laughs> um, I'm gonna grab that. His face immediately go, starts to wrinkle. Yeah, give me that. And hey, just, what are you doing to me, Sonny? Yes. What are you doing? 
Uh, so I regain. Uh, uh, His 30. life just disappears. Suck the moisture out of somebody. His voice <laughs> is so dry now, he sounds like an old man. <laughs> Where did somebody they do stop that? this fish pirate? I will make you fully chapped. Um, and uh, and then you know it's what? It's an attack from the undersea. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then as my bonus action, I am going to cast. Um, but, 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 Jesus Christ! Uh, Shield of Faith on myself uh, to Dang. up my to up my AC. Okay. To fifteen. Do you want to accomplish anything in this room? Or are you just trying to, to beat I up some, win. some more fuckers? Okay, that's it. <laughs> I'm okay, sorry. I, I can't get over suck the moisture out of him. That's insane. <laughs> is, insane. is there anything that you want to say to the guards as you're fighting with them? That's what I was. The soldier, um, sorry. That's what I was which, wondering. Which 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 one is the one that said that? Sorry, it's been two weeks and I have just been in a perpetual bloodlust. Um, <laughs> which one is the one that had said the initial thing about the chosen one being weird? Uh, that would have been the one that you just challenged to do with. If you're oh. like trying to recognize who it was. Okay. All right. Oh, now that we're in a now that we're in a duel, it's only customary that you you tell me what you were saying about the chosen one being weird. <laughs> okay, roll persuasion yep. for free. Uh, eighteen. Eighteen. All right, good. All right. So the next up, that ends your turn. The one with the musket goes. We got no time for dog. We gotta take him out. Somebody put the cuffs on him. Bam! And he shoots you again. Oh, uh, that's a four. I don't even think. That's uh, I look at him happen. directly and say the human body is seventy percent water. Ah, uh, that misses. Okay. <laughs> the that one, is the most intimidating thing the you one, could have said. The one in melee with you goes ahead for a strike, although he rolls only a 14. I only roll 14 ahead. 14 doesn't hit. Shield of faith, baby. All right. Woo! <laughs> one, of them, one of them had a plus six on their rapier, but you took him out, so you're good. Excellent. And then the one who's still holding that pistol, he starts to shake. <laughs> yeah, I said the chosen one's a freak, and I know you ain't it. Bam, and he shoots it. Okay. Only a 10 again. I missed everything this turn. Uh, I want to say, can a freak do this and catch the bullet in my teeth? <laughs> <laughs> and you jump and it just fucking bends and you spit it out. Well, maybe you're all freaks. I don't know. Well, that's racist. <laughs> what? Well, I didn't mean it like that. Don't try and cancel me now. <laughs> <laughs> you're lucky the comms aren't on. Now, this can all end quickly if you tell me about this fish girl and this contact. Just like I am about to make contact with this man's head. Uh, and I'm going to take a couple of swings at him. Um, okay, the one in front of you with melee? Yeah, so the first one is going to only be 13 to hit, and then the next one is going to be a 24 to hit. First one is going to be 11 damage. Next one's going to be 8 damage, so he takes 19 damage. How's he looking? Okay, uh, he immediately looks disheveled and rough. He's still up. Okay, I want to smite him you... with that. Can I do that? <laughs> yeah, you can do that. <laughs> okay, we're gonna smite him. Yeah, all right. How do you want to do this on uh, uh, Theodore? Right. Yeah, I I, I I spin my I spin my sword around. Uh, you know what I do? I flick some water in his eyes. He goes, oh! I spin my sword around, so it's just the the uh, the the hilt of the sword. Uh, <laughs> and then I fucking hit him in the nuts with it, and he goes down. Okay, <laughs> thunder damage to the nuts, bro. <laughs> a radiant damage. <laughs> he goes. Oh! Uh, his 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 nuts uh, like glow and he turns ground. infertile. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me everything you know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and you're still yelling at the guy with the pistol. Yeah, you know, the, the uh, guy who's who's compelled to duel me. Should yeah, I make so, another persuasion roll? Uh, have you done that this turn yet? No, I did one then last Then go ahead, time. yeah, make another one. Make okay, another and this one. one's about the, the fish girl and the contact. Uh, that's Repeat gonna be a 19 time. this time. Woo, baby! Okay. All right, uh, the one in the pistol, he's like shaking, he just kind of like looks over at the guy with the big musket, and the, and the guy with the musket yells at you and goes, What do you want to know, in, eh? Uh, the I just goes, look- It doesn't matter, he's gonna die here. So what, we've got contact with the fish girl, do you feel betrayed? Oh, you look you look nice and hydrated. What fish girl? Yeah, you think I know her name and even if I did I wouldn't tell you. And then uh he we'll takes a shot. About that. Bam! The guy with the pistol takes a shot. Yeah. The 14 doesn't hit. No. The guy with the musket takes his shot. That was shot. a good shield of faith. Holy shit. Getting a lot of 14s. All right. And uh 12 doesn't hit. Doesn't All right. Hit. So neither of them shoot. Your turn again. Holy fuck. Okay. Bang, uh, bang. 
I am going to um, run over to the guy with the musket um, and say, be still, uh, and uh, and use my channel divinity on him, which I haven't done in a long time, Thalassic Bubble. Mm -hmm. So he needs to make a, a strength saving throw. Natural one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So he is, uh, yeah, he's, he's encased in a bubble. He floats three feet off the ground and he's restrained. Um and then on, on the end of each of his turns, he can make another another strength right. saving throw. Great. All right, this is your last chance before I return your I turn your friend back into primordial soup. Wait, mate, don't go kill me, mate. I don't have a family yes. back at home. Yes, I'll make wait, you one hundred percent water, full oh, water. No, please, please I'm gonna don't turn you me, into mate. a Capri, son, and all drink right, you. All right, all right, it's the chosen one. The chosen one's transferring. All right, now let me down, please, mate. The cho- what are you- The chosen one's trying to- Hang on, I don't want no on. trouble with a pirate. Okay, well, let me level- Now I'm just confused. I'm gonna take the helmet off. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, I think there might have been a- A, a mix-up. And I'm re- And I'm really sorry, but I'm Get actually- Get him all right, get me down from here! <laughs> yes, <laughs> at the end of the guard. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's gonna be 18 total. Yeah, that- That, that passes. Okay. So we the bubble breaks. Pop the bubble. Mm -hmm. That's their turns. Next up, what are you doing? He so he kind of like falls, stumbles, and hits on his ass. But he's like trying to get back up with the gun. He's like oh. trying to back away a little bit, but okay. not too far. So, he's not like doing your right. All right. So hold on, guys. Now I'm a little bit confused here because I'm I, now I I was here. I'm the chosen one, champion of the undersea, hero of the deep, Gillian Tide Strider, and I'm saying this now because I I I feel now in retrospect. Sorry for busting in here, but I think there's a miscommunication on your part because I'm not transferring today. They both like kind of like eye each other. The one who's like in front of you now, uh, just like looks behind your shoulder and like raises an eye bow, and then you kind of look behind you at the guy holding the pistol and he goes, "I don't know." I just raise my arms for audio listeners. I raise my arms and like shrug. <laughs> um, I don't know, mate. Just kill him. Okay, sure. Uh, I'm gonna take two more swings on the guy that just popped the bubble. Wait, mate, I said don't kill me, please! <laughs> no, but your friend just said kill him! He said, oh, is he talking? It's too late, bye! Um, let's give me a 13 and a 17 to hit this guy. 13 and a 17? So 13 doesn't hit, 17 does. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Uh, he's gonna take, um, 14 radiant damage. You're the communications guy! Communicate with me, guys! What's going on? You say you got a fish girl contact? A chosen one's being transferred? I think your sources are whack. The one that's kind of like just struggling in front of you with the musket. He's like holding, clutching the fucking gash. I promise that's all I know. That's all you know. I have yeah, a family. Yeah. I know. I have a family, I know. Everyone, man. Don't hey, kill everyone me. Everyone does. Everyone does. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I mean. Now, Eden did tell me not to cause a scene so no one can leave your conscience. Uh, and I'm going to uh, 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 take another attack at this guy in front of me. Mm -hmm. uh, 23 to hit and a natural one to hit, so the 23 hits. Yep, go ahead, right down. Okay, he takes uh, 12 more damage. All right, I'll say, how do you want to do this on this guy? Um, I, uh, I, 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 I bonk him on the head. And then I grab one of the phone cords and run around him repeatedly until he's died off. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, the guy, uh, so that's, is that the rest of your turn? Do you have a bonus action? Uh, I, I'm going to use my movement to get right up in this other guy's face. Okay. Uh, he kind of gets back up against the wall. And he, now there's he a lot of him. questions right now floating around. You've already caused the bloody scene, you fucking buffoon! <laughs> he pulls out a rapier to try and hit you. <laughs> Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Elon rolls a twelve, so he fucking misses. Oh, you can cop, grab the blade. Right. It's your turn. It's your turn. It's your turn. Okay. Shoot! Wait, wait, wait! <laughs> I'll tell you everything you need to know. You don't have to hit me. Really? You're gonna tell me everything you know, and I don't have to. I don't have to hit you. Everything. Just, just back away. Put your weapons down. We can talk about this, right, mate? We can just talk about this. Oh, okay, Chosen great. Chosen not a freak, if that's what offended you. Would you, you really mean that? Yeah! Go, oh, go, okay, all right. Whew! <laughs> There's a lot of... A lot yeah, of, of I'm glad we. I'm glad we cleared the air. I'm glad we cleared the air on that. So we're all good? We're all good? We're all good. Yeah, good, yeah, good. Yeah, just... <laughs>
I, I'm just kind of like surrounded by these unconscious bodies. Um, I'm gonna say, cool, cool. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull up a, a chair. Um, <laughs> and <laughs> I'm gonna pull up one for him, one for me. Um, good. What's, what's your name? What's your name? Yeah, I'm Jeffrey. You're all, you're also Jeffrey? Spelt with the G, mate. Oh, sorry, man. Well, it's nice to meet you, uh, uh, Jeffrey. I'm Gillian Tidestrider, champion of the undersea, hero of the deep, chosen one. Just gotcha. So All right, make <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey, no. <laughs> make, a, make a dexterity saving throw. Jeffrey with a J would never do this. Uh, twenty-one. Twenty-one. Oh my god, yeah. dude! You dude, actually, that's the best I've ever you instinctively you like pull pull your wrist up as he goes to try and uh, 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 shackle you with these like cuffs, right? We're sitting right in front of you, and then he looks up at you with this fucking like measly face and goes, <laughs> so, oh, "I was just kidding, mate." I um, I slowly just like <laughs> frown and I put the dread helm back on <laughs> and take out my sword. <laughs> All right, go ahead and roll your attack if you're going. Okay, I'm gonna make my two attacks. Natural 20? Oh my god, dude! Fucked! <laughs> Fucked! Jeffrey, you betrayed my trust. Oh, it's nothing, You said mate. you're Jeffrey with a G, but you're no G. Just, and I'm gonna smite just, him. Just in test your reflex! I get a nat dead. 20, I'm gonna smite him just for the absolute fuck of it. Um. <laughs> and uh, and does a uh, just, just for shits too? Uh, does a twenty also hit his AC? Yeah. <laughs> Great. I'm just All right. How do you want to do I this? I want to know the total damage. I so want to. That's also. I want to know the damage too. So that's gonna do like fifty-two damage. <laughs> that's so stupid. Unlethally kind of impossible as non, you. Uh... Non-lethally. 52 damage. You can, uh, okay. you can non-lethal this, but he is going to need a hospital. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. He will um, never recover. Okay, okay. J j just, <laughs> just for flavor. Just for flavor. I'm going to like repeatedly just like, so I'm going to say, you know, like, you're getting a call. I, I, I smack him. Uh, with, with the fucking phone, and then I say moist, and he comes back up from a healing word, and then I smack him again. And he just goes down, gets up one more time, and Gillian fully drop kicks him into the door and like the frozen into the frozen uh, 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 door as it just shatters and this guy crumples. And the frozen, yeah, all the ice shatters. Cool. Uh, what are you doing now? As, as, as all the ice shatters. Well, I'm sorry, guys. It felt like a big miscommunication. Um, and, 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 uh, I'm gonna look around to see if there's any, like, documents or anything in here. Uh, uh, like any records Investigation of, check. of anything they're talking about? Yeah. Fucking three, dude? There actually isn't any paper in this room. <laughs> <laughs> paper, they've all gone, they've gone digital. It's just shells that you destroyed. All of it's destroyed, too. Well. It's all whack. Everything. Um, I guess I better... Be on my way. <laughs> I'll uh, yeah, right. you better. walk out of the room. Yep, and uh, as you do, I need everybody to re-roll their initiative. As Jay, when you are slow falling down and your eyes widen and you get to the second level entryway, you see just past this hallway that is uh, a little bit of walking down, there is a row of guards that <laughs> bl not only block the hallway that... Uh, that <clears throat> Gillian uh, turned down and ran down, but in front of you, Gillian, as you open up the door yeah. in front of you, there is just this barrage of, uh, of ten or more guards all pointing their door, uh, their guns at the door that you just walk out of, and you hear one of them go, "Don't bloody move!" Now, I know how this looks. And Jay, you hear the same thing. But if I could just get a glass of water. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody reroll their initiative. Yeah, he's got an Chip, at this point, at this moment, you would be um, sort Five of again. plummeting down, and uh, you would your 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 rope would have just ended, and you're also kind of like second level ish. Uh, um, but you don't. There are like no windows that you can like jump through from here. You're just kind of on the wall right now, and you look up and you can see. Uh, Koopa Kinta just smiling down as his foot rests on the, uh, he just kind of caresses it with his foot, the grappling hook. Right. And, uh, so go ahead. Everybody tell me your initiative. I got a 18. 19. I got a 5. Initiative, Woo! not my strong suit. But I live! What was yours, Jay? 18. So, Chip, you're up first in the, in the turn order here. 
and uh, you are dangling. Your feet are on the rope. You're about uh -huh. still halfway up uh, this this uh, this domish tower, and uh, still mm -hmm. quite a bit of ways to go as far as like getting down to the ground. And your yeah. rope is already ended from the grappling hook. Um, and at that point, you watch as uh, the smiling, maniacal Koopa Kenta actually jumps and leaps out, and he slams the back of his, like his claws into the, uh, 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 the 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 wall of the tower and just starts sliding down with it, uh, coming towards you. He doesn't make it to you yet, but now it's your turn. Come here, little rat! Um, so first thing I'm going to ask is this wall that I'm on. Is it just a straight-up flat wall with nowhere to the left or right of me? Are there any platforms it's a to the left or it's right? A, it's a cylindrical kind of wall. So, I mean, you can try and run... Yeah. Uh, towards the left or the right and, and find a, another way in but as far as where you are okay. right now there is nothing but a cylindrical wall. so wooden... as i've as i've slid down kind of stand up and use the rope to hold me up run around the right side looking for a platform of some kind that i can make to or a window window would be ideal how about just roll acrobatics to see if you make it through or athletics athletics or acrobatics sure, 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 sure. since you are running across a wall with a rope and trying to jump into another window that is, you know, sealed by glass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a 20, not natural. Okay. Yeah, I'll see you're able to break in and let go of the rope. If I bonus action dash, use this to to mm -hmm. um, run. Would I, at this point, hear all of these soldiers if I'm on the second floor? Just outside of the door here, you seem to be in this kind of, um, like, mail or shipping chamber for this, uh, for this floor on the second level okay. here. Because uh, it's just filled with... Um, <clears throat> There's nobody in here, luckily, but it is well lit. It's filled with a bunch of paper and envelopes and desks. Um, and you would gather that the most people that would be in here are currently outside of this room. Okay. Because uh, <laughs> you hear the yelling. All right, so I would I would hear all the yelling. Maybe I don't need to bonus action dash. Can I just look out and see all of these guards without getting immediately trampled? <laughs> <laughs> um, you have to roll stealth, but... I can do that. I can yeah. do that. Uh, 28. You peek your head out just a little bit, and you see that coming out of this room, you'd be coming out of the same kind of, like, basically the hallway that, um, mm -hmm. Jay is, is currently looking down, if that makes sense. Um, and I see all these guards out there. Yeah. And, and you I would see any... Jay, like, slowly descending, uh, just on the entry, like, if you look to your right outside of this, you see the elevator mm -hmm. shaft. And you look to the left, you see those guards who were just, like, surrounding some kind of uh, uh commotion soldiers my bad soldiers yep i wanted to disguise myself as one of as one of the soldiers <laughs> and move out into the hallway all right that's all you can do oh this is gonna be funny um so i hear gillian say he needs a glass of water right <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay well this has nothing to do with that i just want to make sure i know gillian's down this hallway and, and in a little bit of a pickle um mm -hmm. how far away is the closest guard for me it's say? all the way like, down this hallway, like at least thirty feet. Thirty feet. Okay, I'll mm -hmm. use my I'll use my movement. I'll uh, I'm gonna land and I'm gonna run up to the nearest guard and I pull out from a little pouch on my side a small little box and I throw it down five feet in front of me, dressed in front of him, and out of it slowly kind of constructs this this sort of cannon turret oh. and on it <laughs> at, at the bottom a little a little matchstick comes out with a flame. <laughs> And it's gonna it's gonna shoot a flamethrower and a fifteen foot cone in front of it. Holy shit! Towards these guards. Okay. <laughs> so um, all of them. I get a fifteen cone. foot cone in front of it. <laughs> I don't know. Know. I I would now. <laughs> you would. All right. So is it a deck save, right? Oh my. It's God. a deck save. Yes, it is a. Chip, go ahead and roll your deck save. Okay. As well. Okay. Holy so shit. cool thing is uh, DC I have 15. evasion. So uh -huh. anything anything that makes me make a deck save, I would only take half anyway. And if I succeed, I take none. A good thing I brought it out because that's a ten. <laughs> okay. What's the what's the total damage? Some of them uh, succeed, two, some of them fail. So uh two D eight on a failed save and half as much on a successful so I'll roll the Yeah, go ahead and roll the damage. So it's gonna be eight Eight total damage. Total. Alright, so a few of these soldiers, mostly the ones who are right next to it, just their 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 uniforms go up in flames and they catch fire and they start screaming ah ah oh we're on fire that uh, and uh, they look over with they'd be able to see you pretty clearly right Jake because you just kind of ran up and through this yeah I guess so yeah, I still like, right know, I still way, I still yeah. pass without a trace on can I can I you can't hide after doing that 
<laughs> there's first of all, there's nothing to hide into from yeah, doing that. I can, yeah, true. Okay, let's smoke <laughs> from a fire. No, no. <laughs> good night, okay. try, all buddy. of the burning guards. <laughs> I don't even think you have bonus action high, do you? That's a rogue thing. No. Yeah, yeah, you kind of in the you're kind of visible at this moment, oh, but a lot should. of them catch yeah. fire. Some of them take way more damage than the others. Uh, and it starts to spread on onto their like clothing and someone was patting it out they're like oh fuck there's more of them here let me help you blow that out um and i'm going to cast gust of wind <laughs> <laughs> because they are all in front of the elevator shaft um no, and uh no 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 I mean, they're not? I mean, no they're not remember you had to turn a corner in order to get to where you are oh shit so they're like there's like a just a wall behind us how do i how do i uh, describe it okay so this whole Tower is this large cylindrical building. So the right. hallways kind of like wrap around the outer, uh, uh, like mm. wrap around, like they like they take that shape, right? So if you exit the um, one of the the elevators, it kind of uh, like goes straight, and then eventually it's gonna start curving, and then it'll open up into a oh, larger chamber. Oh, I see. Okay, so it was like a curved hallway. And all, all right. of the yeah, and all of the like rooms and stuff kind of like are on the edge, the outer perimeter, and they are built onto like. Sweet. If that makes sense. How big are the how big are the hallways? They're fairly Pretty they're big. fairly wide. Yeah. Yeah, How's you know, tall? three or four people. How tall are they? So there's some big guys in here, you know. They're tall enough to like ba to both support the levels above, so and like the 10, like 15 feet or something. Probably about 15 feet. Yeah. Okay, great. Gillian is going to take a deep breath, and he is going to produce the retractable pole. He's going to back up slightly, take a runner's mark, begin sprinting towards all of the guards. Point the pole towards the ground, click it, and try and sail over all of the guards in a beautiful fish pole vault. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, and if I cover where... this right, no one will get opportunity attacks. It depends. What direction are you going? Because directly like behind them is going to be another wall. Oh, or, like just walls are... in, a, in a diagonal. Where's, where's, where's Jay right now? The, Day is just around the, the just just around the corner towards uh, the 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 walkway you have to run down to get to the elevator shaft. So what I need to vault two you can groups go that of way. people to get that way, or just one. Uh, what is the what is the check for vaulting over people? Uh, it would probably just be How athletics. Just roll? Their, yeah. Let's do athletics. Let's roll. We'll say. Okay, uh, I'll just we'll roll say, athletics and see what happens. Yeah. I mean, if you uh, pass the check, nineteen, you baby. Okay. How high up does the pole get you? Uh, the retractable pole. Pole of collapsing uh, is a it, ten feet. It's a ten foot pole. So here's what I say because a lot of them are pointing guns at you. Mm -hmm. uh, some of them are still going to fire off as soon as you go, okay. but you will successfully be able to uh, surmount. <laughs> this entire Enough. scene happens in slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's simply no way it doesn't. I want I'm to go fire. flying over the. Fl oh, You're on fire. <laughs> you would guards. actually fly over Chip, who, who you have, you have a line of sight of the elevator shaft just as well, Chip. Um, so yeah, actually, you know, bonus points, I would like to catch on fire <laughs> as, I, <laughs> okay. as I go over them. So one of them 14, one of them is an 18, uh, three, nine. Here goes my hero. Uh, 15. Oh, he goes. And 17. So three out of the fucking like 10. Everything hit above 15 hits me. Yeah. Yep. All right. So that's just going to be. Okay. So you take 26 points of piercing damage. Holy fuck. All right, I have a a. It was a worse when I rolled the wrong dice. <laughs> beautiful pole vaulting scene here as I as tons of fucking bullets come by. Yeah, yeah, knocking off pieces of, of of armor, the remaining pieces of the grandma disguise, uh, and just leaving like little little uh, uh, blood trails coming down. I'm so, all right. I'm so fucked up, dude. Are, are you running towards the elevator shaft or? Um, yeah. Uh, you see Jay at this point as well. Like you I've guys kind of. I see Jay. Like, okay. All right. Great. All right, Jay, do you have a plan to get out of here? Uh, jump through a window, feather fall. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Can you cast that on me? Yes. <laughs> cool. I jump out the elevator shaft. Oh, okay. <laughs> you won't be able to make it to the elevator <laughs> shaft, but you'll like to jump out, but you'll be able to make it right towards the entryway. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, okay, yeah. so just to make sure, Gillian, Jay, and Chip are all in the hallway leading towards the elevator shaft, right? Yes. So, everybody make a deck save. <laughs> Fuck! I'm really close to beefing it. Oh, yes! 20, 30, 20, 30, 20. Natural one. Also, you guys, if you guys Natural are close one. to me, if you guys are close to me, you can add four. So I think Jay can add four. 24. So, 11 total. I rolled bad anyways. 
So God. it's 12 points of damage reduced to half if you succeeded, as all three of you and everybody in this vicinity would hear the the uh, the very muffled behind some kind of uh, uh, obscured by some kind of wall. This as this fucking wall that is uh, right behind the elevator shaft just explodes and splinters into a big ass hole and you see as the smoke clears and all of you this big beam just shoots right through the hallway in this line of fire and some of you guys take damage most of you dodge out of the way and you see just kind of floating in the air steam exhaling from the eyes underneath no the way. robot metal mustache and you see Alphonse and he goes Captain and starts Elfons! to plummet right right down to the <laughs> he starts to plummet from being in uh, into the sky um, But that that clearing in the middle of the second level that elevator shaft big a fucking hole just blown right that? into Did it Did you guys know he could do that? I didn't know he could do that well, That's and now awesome there's a, there's a clear line of uh, there wasn't a window before but now this hole can we be have, jumped through if this if decided opportunity. Oh Anyways, and at the top of the round ship got chip. thrown out of a window. I want to <laughs> yell out uh they're too strong! We need to fall back! Finally, someone with some sense! Fear is the enemy of battle, you will be the first to go. Oh, shit! That's that shit right there! That's a musical mirror type beat! Oh, all right. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. All right. Yeah, yeah! Your boy Grizz back in his track about to get silly on. You're finna hear where it's at over at our Patreon. That's where you gotta go and give us your dough and hit a new show. I pop the yo, sis. Yeah, that's right, sis. Petey, take a break so that Connie can spit. And my character? Well, he's a real trip. Awesome guy shit. Yeah, bitchin'. I stop writing the lyrics right here. So I'm going off the top. Just go to Patreon.com or I'll give you the block. I'll give you the clock. I'll pants you in the street. And my character's name is Rumi. Ooh-wee. It's your goofy asses over at Patreon.com slash day or WI show. Big G out here dropping the mic. Peace. <laughs> I wink at, at Gillian though. And I just I want to try and persuade He's this crowd gonna, of guards to get out get of there. Wink. Okay, you can you can cast persuasion if you want. You know, I'm last sorry, time cast, you winked at Gillian, your finger got cut off. <laughs> you can roll persuasion. <laughs> uh, nineteen. Nineteen. This time it's his head. No, dude. <laughs> All right, you see that that some of them kind of like put their guns down as as this whole fiasco just happens. And they go, that's that's a fucking hole in the wall, man. And um. A lot of people are like, get your fucking heads together, you pussies! It's just three pirates! Uh, so you see that half people look a little bit more timid and scared while the other ones are still yeah. gunning and going for uh, uh, Gillian Fuck. and Jay. Okay, as he said, it's just three pirates. I rip off the bandana. Four pirates! <laughs> Never mind, run! You're bolting. <laughs> well, if do they? That's what hilarious. do they do? Do they do anything? There's a moment of silence. <laughs> there's a, there's a moment of silence, and then like somebody behind you raises up their fucking fist and go, ah! And then you, I, I guess run. You, you take off. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Bonus okay. action dash. I'm fucking out of there. Yeah, you're able to jump right out of that hole. You guys will see bursting out of the door that big tiger man. What Vice the Admiral Cooper's Kenta. And he goes, I'll take it from here, yeah? And that's my ticket to leave, and I jump out the fucking hole. <laughs> and, All right. uh, I, I cast Featherfall initially, and it should affect Gillian from here because it has a decent range. Chip, it hits you as well. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh, thank God. Dude, I thought you were just going to not give it to me because I was what? stupid. 60 foot range. Okay, cool. I don't know yeah, if so you want to, um, I was just wondering if you wanted to flavor your spells with like your arrows and stuff, but yeah, I'm thinking about Cause that. It feathers, should... Cause arrows have feathers and it's cool, huh? We all ride, we skate on the arrows. <laughs> as we what the fuck? Sure, dude. Yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. Dude, metal. Okay, yeah, I would say that a uh, feather fall affects all of you as Jay runs out and jumps out of this big ass hole that's been blown in the side of Raft HQ. Gillian, what are you doing? Um... Uh, okay, I, I, I turn around, um, I am going to bonus action, use both of my, uh, uh, new sorcery points to regain a spell slot of level one, use my action to cast command on Kuba, uh, piss, and then jump out the window. <laughs> piss! Alright, what is, what is the save? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, it is a wisdom saving throw. Well, he, he can't be a pirate anymore if he I pisses. just told him to piss. If Not he pisses, he exactly, exactly. He'll be forever blocked from that life path. 
you would you would get the sense as you're running away although it's very very brief that the magical effect just dissipates as soon as it tries to Okay, well, in that case, it sounds like I just looked at him, my eyes widened, and I said, PISS, and then jumped out the window. <laughs> Not a window, big hole. So big all hole. of you guys are descending. Everything's uh, how, a window. <laughs> how slow is uh, Featherfall? Um, Featherfall doesn't actually slow you that much. The fall, falling creature's rate of descent slows to 60 feet per round. So per six, they're 10, 10 feet a second. Okay. Okay. 60 feet per round, so we'd fall 60 feet in a round. That's pretty good, right? I don't know. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so uh, then I'll say that's pretty far enough. By next round, you guys all descend. You would hear the <laughs> loud fucking smack of uh, uh, of Alphonse with no feather fall hitting the ground. <laughs> and oh, like should've, I should have hit him with that. Rubble yeah, and wood all splintering beneath his feet. And uh, as the dust and debris settles, you guys would also see Ollie waving right next to him, wearing that oh big God, mountain Ollie giant strength him. belt. No! And he Holy goes, fuck yes! <laughs> Come on, guys! They're going to get us! Um, hey, does and, the spell end when we hit the ground? Um, with brevity, you guys all hit the ground at the same time here. No, 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 I'm sure. asking because if Ollie throws us before we hit the ground, we can keep it going. Um, the spell does end when the creature hits the ground, yes. Ollie! Throw us before we hit the ground! <laughs> like Wait, really throw you where? Uh, uh, towards our ship or something. And then how's Ollie gonna That's go too away? far and impossible, dude! You're on the third level, the ship is underneath the hole, bro! There's, like, shit! He's strong, dude! I don't know. Oh, it's impossible, it's not gonna happen. That's alright, that's fine. You guys uh, all hey, guys, I didn't time, find bro. anything, by the way. How'd it go for you? Oh, we we found all the information we needed, and then Chip decided to touch the fucking. <laughs> the hey, he had a soft hand, hand, okay? But listen, I got it. I start reaching in I my pants, and you see you me hear... rummaging around in my pants for a second. <laughs> okay. Weird. As he's rummaging around, you hear this loud, uh, bassy that fills your chest cavity with bass. This loud lion's roar from that cavity uh, of the tower that you, um, uh, just jumped out of, and all of you would hear. Let's finish the main course sometimes, huh? What a delicious oh. appetizer! What, what are you talking? What are you, what are you <laughs> saying? Ron, he's gonna eat us. Just keep running. <laughs> okay, but I got right, the book. Sounds good. Just keep running. I don't know what's in the book, but I got the book. Nice. Mission accomplished. Ooh. All right, where are you guys going? Out. You're running, right? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Can we? Are we running by Ollie? Can I put him on my shoulders? You can put him on your shoulders. You're pretty much just running through uh, uh, the third level here, ducking. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of Navy soldiers who are kind of surrounded and inside of Raft HQ right now, so it's a little bit easier of a way, but you still have to duck and dodge a few of them as you're running down uh, the steps and whatnot. And um, yo, I'm guessing, guys, you're trying to head back to your ship? Yeah. I think we just need to get the fuck out. Well, yeah, I'll say initiative order is over here. Um, Start the car! <laughs> 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 oh my Raise god. Raise the anchors! Raise the anchors! <laughs> Holy shit. Um, go ahead and roll a stealth check, all three of you. Um, 19. I'm really, really um, bad at my stealth. I got a... I had 10, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, I got 22 then. Uh, 25. I got better stealth than ship? What the fuck? I rolled a 3. Oh, okay. I rolled a 17. <laughs> so, you all are successfully able to hide, even though the streets were kind of... Uh, even the second level, just littered with soldiers, and you guys make your way stealthily back to your ship. Um, though a lot of the pirate ships are kind of moving and leaving, or not just pirate ships, but any ships, um, uh, because of the commotion that's going on above. Oh. It doesn't. We weren't supposed to cause a scene. <laughs> there is a there is a a very clear sense of the city, especially this kind of like the whole part of the city. Uh, whole, not whole, whole. On high alert. Jay, do you think it's a bad time to <laughs> go to the beyond section? I don't think we can. Julian, you look really bad. Damn it, I know. I think I'm you about have, to go to the beyond section. You have so many holes in you. I know, like a sea sponge. We get to the ship. Hmm? Like, we're, we're able to Should get back to, to the ship. Yeah. With your as, I, as, as we get back to the ship, I kind of just pull Ollie off and lay back onto the ground of the ship. Oh. It's pretty cool. <sighs> Woo! You guys were in some deep shit. I mean, uh, deep trouble. Stuff. No, but we were in some pretty deep shit. 
Hey, guys, yeah. um, we should probably get these plans to Eden before we are never allowed anywhere ever again. Uh, I don't know if I can move anywhere again. Ugh. That's okay, Why? Ollie. It's a good Ollie. thing Ollie convinced me to leave the ship when he did. Otherwise, the captains may have not have returned. You, you, you saved us back there. You saved my bass. We're a crew, apparently. And until I find what my, my own purpose is, my purpose is to serve the captains. Well, you're doing a great job at it. Yeah. It, well, it was my idea that I throw you're, him up there. At, Ollie, you, you, know, you never have to prove yourself, Ollie. You should have seen it. There, was, It got crazy. There were pirates freaking out down here of leaving because Navy was grabbing everybody. I mean, the rap, like the... The soldiers of, of Raf were just arresting people on the spot down here, oh, and oh. we were hiding, and then I was like, oh no, they're in danger. We have to help them, and Alphonse was like, I have to watch this ship, and I used the belt. You just kind of like shakes it. You did. Yeah, feel like maybe really we, we've affected this city in a worse way than we could possibly imagine. Oh yeah, no, now. Jay, like, we, fu we fucked up for sure. We fucked up really Remember when big we time. were told not to make a scene? I, I feel like I made a a smaller yet slightly manageable scene. Chip wanted guys, to blow up. Guys, guys, Chip wanted to guys, blow up we did the fine. Navy base. We have the plans. We didn't blow anything up. We just mildly destroyed a couple of load bearing walls. Hey, how about this? You can't make a montage with just one scene. Oh! Exactly. Boom. Up here, Gillian. I'm not. Give me I some can't, fin. I, I can't high five in good conscience, though. We did. We, everything is fucked. Okay, well somebody's gotta high five me, or this you, is gonna stay up all day. You can't leave that hanging. I, Jay doesn't. Jay doesn't high five. Somebody, him. please give me some skin right now. I'm in a very emotional, vulnerable state, and if I don't get some skin, I'm going to have a breakdown. <laughs> Anybody, Alphonse? He doesn't have skin. Fuck, Ollie, come on, you got me. I know you got me. You Your can't reach. You can't reach that. Can't reach you. Why are we high fiving? I yeah, just, I don't, I just don't need it. It's for me. It's just for me. It's just like okay. a thing that Bam. I need. High five. Yes. Nice. Okay. Nice. And nice. we got the plans. I reach into my pants again and pull them out. Why do you have them so deep in there? Got the, got the plans. Doesn't matter. <laughs> so that that guy doesn't get his soft hands on them. You're really focusing on the strangest things. So yeah, let's, really. I just don't feel these, like... We should get these to eat in quick, right? Before things get well, worse. I don't know. Things are looking pretty wild out there. Maybe we let things cool off for the night before we start transporting plans around. Well, I don't know can't... if things are gonna cool off. They're not gonna cool off overnight. We just raided the Navy base. Uh, okay, but we and can't, they like, caught take us, a nap, and they or... caught us, and they saw us. Get like the a vice snack admiral or something? saw us. We're like, <laughs> yeah, but it's fine. We're it's gonna be fine, fine. okay? Fine. He didn't get us. He called it an appetizer. You know, that doesn't even seem that bad. It's not like we were even a main course for him. He probably got a whole lot more on his plate. Claw marks pulsate oh. as they kind of, uh, uh, that pain sears across your chest and your back and you can just feel it just doom, 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 doom. Hey, does anybody have any of that, uh, like heal stuff, Gil? Could you like touch my wounds? Sure, I touch his wounds. Ah, okay. Okay, maybe not like that. <laughs> it burns, and it's very warm to the touch. Oh, so that like a fever. can't be good. Uh, can I do like a medicine check and see if it's, if, if everything's okay? Roll medicine, sure. Uh, 10. They, all you can gather from just looking at it and, and with your experience of having grievous wounds, they're healing very slow. The bleeding still is not stopping. I feel like this should have stopped bleeding by now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, dun, dun. uh, Wrap him up in a in a, in yeah. a bandage to stop that. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, as soon as... Go ahead. I was gonna cure wounds him with my final nice. spell slot for the day. Sure. And uh, as I do that, I look at Chip in the eyes and I say, "Tell me you didn't say anything about what we were doing there." Okay, so I didn't say anything. Um, okay. Per se. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. But that's great. I don't really know how to explain it. It's almost like he. He took my brain and held it in his hands like Plato. So yeah, um, didn't feel great. I it, he safe to say he knows. Here's what I'm getting out of this. Okay, we were tasked to enter this high security facility to find information 
Right. Um, and get out without causing a scene. Wait, right. so far? Um, yeah. Main objective, um, objective succeeded, in my yes. opinion. Yes, awesome. Side, great. Up, super up, awesome. Up, super optional, great. Optional now, like, hear, me, hear me out. <laughs> Quest hear me out. failed. Yeah, it would have been like... so perfect if we could have just gotten out of there without leaving any evidence or hey. or or them. You know, you stole a full folder of their plans. They're, they're, who's to say they aren't gonna change them now? What was I? Was I not supposed to tell them my full name and titles? <laughs> you told them what? <laughs> Well, Jay, you're the one who wanted to what blow the gonna, place what up. What was I going to do? I know you wanted to blow the place up. You I pulled out oil. I was going along with your you, plans. You, you blowing you the place oil. Why are you? And look, she even has the oil. Miss Jay, you wanted to blow the place up? That's I crazy. Why would you do that? Jay are you jumps that off the mad ship. at your dad? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, don't jump off the ship. I was she joking. She gets on the fucking... <laughs> look, Jay, we'll be fine. It's not like he's going to come after us. Like the second you say that, Chip, it, Run, it becomes. <laughs> so what did what did you two learn? I learned some things, but none of what we were actually seeking. Um, we heard some disjointed words. I think Jay wrote them down, and I've got this book. I haven't really read into it because I was too busy getting clawed. Let me see that. Sure. I, I yeah. take the book and I want to take a quick glance through it. Okay. Uh, yeah, most of this seems to be like log sheets <laughs> and notes on communications from Koopa Kinta. Uh, the majority of, of what you get are like details of the things that they have done and plan to do. Things like tensions with uh, the undersea are neutral and we will transfer uh, Project AIL to the Solstice Stronghold, refortifying the Solstice Stronghold complete and other things like we withdrawn from canela or we if uh or like joaldo dismantled or expelled and other things of like we have uh set or touched it touched down at us uh, islands you've never heard of and okay. things like that i i relay this all to the chipping gillian as well mm-hmm it has a lot of like Navy past history, like plans and stuff, and just general uh, progress on the things that they have done and will do. He calls his mother a lot, actually, off Navy oh, lines. Oh, that's good. That's important. <laughs> he does. Yeah, he does call his that's, mom. That's good. Yeah. Mama, Mama Kenta. <laughs> she sounds lovely. I hope they have oh, a good she's, relationship. She made, oh, they sent, she sent cookies to the Navy office. That's so nice. Man, we could have got those cookies. We were right there. No, dude, that's fucked up. That's from his mom. That's mean. Okay. That's, that's his mom's. Just, okay, but one or two, she would have wanted him to share. You're right. She would have. Okay, so we should take these to Eden tonight or tomorrow? I think as soon as possible. And Jay, you mentioned something being transferred. Uh, when I was in the communications room, busting everything up, um, I also heard something about uh, the chosen one being transferred so i take it with a grain of salt clearly i'm right here maybe it's a hey, different not transferred. land chosen one probably or something um Did they say there's like another like, chosen one for like a different prophecy for a different prophecy i mean i i okay but i'm the only c1 maybe like a land guy well is it for sure like a c1 maybe um I, all I know is is uh, is that's what they that's what they said. So maybe it's what exactly did they say? Um, that the I, a or the chosen one was being transferred. That's all I got. Huh. Okay. So dubious, right? Because me, but um. Well, I mean, how long have you been gone? Would they maybe have a another chosen one a backup no no that's not how it works and they would never no they would okay. never i don't know how it works i'm just i i no it doesn't it doesn't work like that that's not how it is and it never will be i mean like how were you chosen uh well uh, I, w I, w I was born yeah. in the in uh, do you really want the full the full story yeah, just like, just full like a story. you know okay actually, i can i can, I can yeah. abbreviate it yeah. okay cool 
Yep, born blue moon, light of the blue moon, coral, coral reef, specific right. place, moon. eye of the eye of the storm, checks the eye boxes the with the prophecy. You were born I really in, get a choice. in the eye of a storm? <laughs> pretty, pretty cool. <laughs> There's lightning everywhere. It's awesome. Uh, that's And so that's what the prophecy said. So I didn't really get wow. to choose. I was the chosen one. There you go. Were you easy, in like easy. an egg or did you like... I don't think I was in an... I, I might have been... Can I roll history to see if I <laughs> disadvantage? You know how undersea folks are born. Okay, I got a Maybe one. Maybe he didn't have any sex ed in his childhood. No, no, it. he does not know how undersea people are born. <laughs> he never got how? the talk. In he never got the talk. In eggs. No, he was too busy training. Do you? Is that how humans work? Is eggs? No, we're not born of eggs. We're born of like out of well, our mothers. Out of your okay, mothers? well, you didn't go to school. There's eggs involved still. They're just, they just don't. It's a different kind of egg. Eggs at the bar. Okay, yeah. <laughs> well, but I can eat eggs. Yeah. Okay, anyway, anyway, yeah. I'm, <laughs> I, I'm champion of the other year of the team. The, the other thing that came up in there was um, they mentioned uh, they had contact with some kind of uh, fish girl, I think, some sort of informant. Um, do you know of any 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 fish girl that could yes. be? Yes. Ooh, it would be good if we could get a start on this. Gillian, look at me. Uh, yes. My eyes. Yes. Critical thinking moment. Yes, critical thinking. Okay. Fish girl. Right. I on, but I only know Eden. So what fish girl? Hey, hey. Yes, got it. Locked Rewind. In. Couple of steps back. Couple of Step steps. Step back. Okay. What did you just say? I only know Eden. So you, there has to be so, if anyone knows any other fish girls. Boom! Be... That who else do you know? Chip, are you insinuating that Eden's their their No, rat? she wouldn't do that. Maybe she's just playing both sides. She's our informant. She's not gonna be their informant. Like not Chip, for real. Look at me in the eyes. Look at me in the eyes for a second. Okay, critical thinking moment. Do you know how many fish women there are in the undersea? I've only met one, and we are not in the undersea. <laughs> And I don't even know how I was born, so I can say with certainty I don't have any idea. But it's not, it's, it's not Eden, and that wouldn't even make sense. She would never do that, and why would she inform them and also want to steal their plans? I don't know. Why don't I mean, we just way. ask her? Yeah, okay. Yeah, sure. good idea. Ollie, good with idea. great ideas. This, uh, is, uh, let's see, is she either working right now or disappearing to that mysterious place she disappears for large chunks of time? Um, <laughs> hang on, hang on, let's just go find her. She's gotta it's be around day, there somewhere. It's still like noonish, right? Midday, sort of sunset's coming. Maybe she gets off she, soon. Did she work at, she worked before, right? During this time of day? Uh-huh. Great, okay, Chip, Jay, how long can you hold your breath? Um, like, like wait, four wait, wait, minutes wait, 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 if wait, wait, I'm wait, really wait, wait, trying wait. hard. Okay. But I do pass out. We're gonna bring okay. it to her at work? What about Lizzie? Do you think they're still here? Uh, can I pull out the con shell and give him a call? You can, yeah. Yeah, who, cool. who, who? Uh, I'm synced to John Caspian and Eden, so I'll give a... Uh, ooh, actually. Okay, I get one call. John Caspian or Eden? John. Eden. Eden. Okay. Uh, Wait, why John? Okay, I also vote John. Because I, also vote I John. miss him. <laughs> you just... Well, you're gonna... You're gonna call... Ollie, we'll John talk to John later. Sister. We have a mission now. You think we could convince him to come back to our pirate crew? No, because he thinks that Lizzie is the best pirate <laughs> captain ever, and that she's awesome, and we suck. Okay, I I, I, uh, I called Eden, and right as she picks up, uh, she hears, we suck from Chip. <laughs> <laughs> we can't do anything right, apparently. Yeah, yes, little we brother. can't because of you. Quickly, Eden, I'm still working. How's it going? Okay, so uh, remember how you said not to cause a scene? <laughs> well, we got the plans. <laughs> Oh, is she on that? Oh. Hi, Eden. Hey, hey. Hey, Eden. <clears throat> hey, Eden. what's up? It's so good to talk to you. Oh my gosh, I thought it was gonna die. Anyway, we got uh, we got the plans. We got some information, and keep this on the down low. But if you know any any fish girls that have been acting suspicious lately, we think that maybe one of them could be informing the navy, an undersea spy. So keep it keep it down low. But we can bring you the plans now or later. What works best? Yeah, whatever works for you, Eden. We'll just we're just doing whatever. You know, we got other stuff we can do. There's a brief pause of silence mm -hmm. as you finish talking. At sundown, let's meet back at the port hall. I'll talk to you then. And then it goes. Oh, okay, but I, bye. 
She what did she did she say something about me? Club you too. <laughs> <laughs> what did she, um, what'd she say? No, actually, it seemed like every everything she responded to was directly to to me and almost didn't no, even it, acknowledge your offhand. It could comments. have been both of us, like all of us. Yeah, I mean for I sure. Think. Probably yeah. wasn't, but for sure. It, she it said to, to me more like it was just Gillian. It, no, I think yeah, I think yeah. she would have been talking to all of us because she she knows. What did I she mean, say? Maybe. Uh, she said the porthole at, at sundown. Okay. Okay, where do we put our okay. ship in the meantime? Uh, so I guess we can just stare at it until then. I start staring directly into the sun. Um, <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> Gillian, we're gone, safe. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. Why, gonna... why is no. that up there? What? I've no, never I... really looked at it close before. I cover his eyes. You're blinded for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Stop! Stop! I told you! Why wouldn't um, anyone tell me? Hey, well, we have listen. time. We could hide out in the beyond section. Uh, maybe we could stop by uh, Divine Barkinist. I, I kind of owe a little bit of money. That Do you think they're like even open idea. with all the pirates in the fucking... I mean... Oh, you're right. Maybe not. Oh, the Navy? Yeah, all the Navy is, who we alerted to. Business is to. business. And it's the be well, the, maybe not the Barkinist, but the, the, the Beyond section for sure. Well, Let's go we, check it out anyway. We still need to find, uh, still need to find Rufus. Um, like I said, I owe some money. Maybe, you know, I figure Jay, you got me, right? Oh, Jay's always no, got us. I'm broke, Jay, yeah, I'm broke actually. What? What do you, no, what do you mean? I'm broke. No, it you can, got it. You got it. What do you, you mean? It. it can run out. It's like, yes. it's like a couple hundred gold max. Yeah, I have two hundred max. Yeah, no. So that's you're. We're fine. So you got it. Let's go. Why do I need to pay for your? I start walking. <laughs> I, also, I also start walking with Jim. <laughs> I'm gonna put my real boy armor back on. That was okay. a good idea. That was a good plan. So you guys are heading towards the Divine Barkinist on the second level, of the Golden Circle Market. Go ahead and roll. Um, don't say stealth. Don't say stealth. Stealth, yeah. It's stealth. Damn it. Gave me the idea to roll stealth. I don't have. Unless it's been. Is it still within an hour of the last time I. No. It probably. No? Okay. Bad news. Um, I just gave myself disadvantage on stealth checks by putting on the I summer. rolled a 22. 11. Uh, 16. How did I. How do I. I've rolled a 2 twice. Are we, we, are tags a, along? we are a fucking bunch of clowns. I have for no more spells. Slots. Majority, majority pass. You guys make your way to the divine barkness. No Whoa. problem. You guys can all head in. I mean, the the streets are still sort of rowdy after an hour or so of passes. There's still soldiers on alert, still kind of looking around. But the shops have calmed, or not the shops, but the shopping area, like this kind of district, has yeah. calmed quite a little bit. To the order has been restored to a degree, and it is. Um, functioning some shops have decided not to be open in the chaos but the divine barkinist is you guys walk in let's go rufus has like those two small little spectacles as he's eyeing like this orb oh chip and rufus. go rufus. welcome into the divine barkinist what can i do for you actually it's what we can do for you yeah so jay's gonna settle I'm up not, our I'm debts and then doing that what and we're we're gonna be good. So how Dude, much is it that we uh, it's name a name? Coin. How much name how much one, does she how much does she owe you exactly? Name oh. one time you've done anything for me ever, Chip. Let <laughs> me go back to the back and grab the Why receipt. Is everybody ignoring me. <laughs> that Amber drafted up for you. I see that things went well as you're standing right in front of me. It's good oh, to hear. Perfectly Although, fine. Perfectly fine. Chip, I have to tell you something. Hey there, little Ollie. And he like scruffs his head and Ollie like smiles and he gets close to your ear, Chip, and whispers, Our shop was attacked. What? When? The same night that you came to us. But you don't have to worry. Amber was here and, and well, I should say the following morning, it was kind of the same really late but amber and i were here and um with a protection spell we were able to fend them off and uh it seems whatever whatever happened they're they'll be gunning for you my friend so just keep a look on your heels okay what the hell did you I'll do i'll go get that receipt <laughs> now and <laughs> oh, oh sorry oh, we okay, talked about something thanks <laughs> chip so, what do you guys want to do after this? 
What what the hell did you do? Um Well I thought I solved our problem, didn't exactly solve our problem, I guess. But Sounds you know, like you made our problem worse. I didn't make it Chip. worse. Oh, exactly. are we talking about that thing that you handled? Yeah, yeah the thing that he yeah. handled. I, ha yeah. I did handle it. Oh yeah, and that's why that's why the divine barkinist okay. got attacked. Because of you, yeah. All Reuben wanted was the eye. There was an eye Who here, the they had an eye, and I I brought it to him, but I had Amber curse it so that it would make him paralyzed. Why did you do any of that? He's gonna have your head on a fucking bike. He was already gonna have it anyway. After I... Um, what if you just stole the eye and gave it to him? What then? What would have happened? Then I would have stolen from Rufus. Oh. It was here. Why did you need to do anything for this this man sent assassins after you? He, he's got connections, Gil. That assassin they sent after us wouldn't have been the last. Look, I was just trying to buy us some time. Why don't you say something? We could have just come and blown him up or something. No, we couldn't just and come could, and like, blow him up. Them. You know, like, we're like pirates or something. We we do this every day, probably. Not really. That's not true. I haven't killed a single person. Yet. <laughs> yes. That's the spirit. But he has. Oh, cool. Well, uh, this guy sounds pretty evil. Where is he by chance? <laughs> I'm not going to tell you that because you're just going to say destiny and jump after him. I, yeah, yes, but no, no, but that, yeah, yes, I, yeah, a hundred percent. If, if, if this person is putting other people in danger now, at, at the, at he's the not putting anybody trade in off of us not being in danger, then what's the, what was as the far as I know, he is completely paralyzed. Paralysis doesn't stop him from giving orders. Yeah, yes, it does. He can't out. talk. He can't talk. He can't do anything. He can't move. That's what Amber spell did. I saw it. When he put the eye in, he just bzz, zapped somebody, and then he's froze up. Stop moving. He should be taken care of. At this least for person now. has as many connections as you say he does. I doubt he will stay that way for long. Well, speaking of Amber's enchantment, it's really great to hear that it worked. <laughs> Ooh, I talked her down from the price, which was over 9,000. Down to 4,580 uh -huh. gold. What? Oh. To, to. All right, Jake, pay the man. Let's get on our, on our way. You I said my, you, my gold you handled cheap. it, Jay. Or sorry, Chip, fuck. Uh <laughs> you said you handled it, Chip. This is not handling it. This is just getting us into a crippling life debt. You don't have to worry about us, by the way, over here jargon and arguing, I mean... Are you gonna be okay? I think they, uh, made the rounds back here, hoping we could, uh, help, but, uh, when you ask for help aggressively, a help doesn't get given very easily, and, um... Well, they know if, if we're gone here, then there's no way they'll ever be able to fix their dear old captain, and... Ember's pretty fierce when she gets angry. You should really, you don't want to see her. Never mind. Um, oh. um, so I think we'll be all right for the time being. I'm just worried about you. Yeah, see, yeah I'm Rufus, worried about us too. Um, we don't have money. <laughs> wouldn't want to see her angry or anything, but we're not exactly liquid right now. Ah, oh, him. He is, but not in the money way. <laughs> mm. well, is there like something we could do for you maybe we me i guess i suppose it would offset the cost if i just took the belt back from little ollie there <sighs> something oh, we could do breaking <laughs> i tell you what come back here when things have calmed down a little like see you've caused quite the scene i'm assuming that was you three uh and yeah, if, we were told not to. <laughs> no. Next time yes. you, you walk in, um, if you have the money to pay for it, I would recommend it, unless you want to face Amber's fury, or, or, uh, or I'll think of something you can help us out with. But for now, I never saw you come in today. <laughs> that works. But I can't keep doing you favors for too long. I have a marriage to keep together, you know. I, last one, I promise. We'll come back with... Whatever we can, 
Um, if anything, I could give you this. Uh, hold out the bandana. He just kind of grabs it. It's all like dirty and stuff. Just sniffs <laughs> it. Mm. Why don't you hold on to that? Bring it back when it's clean and maybe I'll think about it. Okay. As far as what she did for you and the enchantment and the price of this bandana to resell, it, would, it wouldn't offset it too much, so just hold on to it and we'll keep the deal we just stated. But if I could interest you in any other items, I'm sure Amber would appreciate it if you bought some stuff. We're gone. We're gone when he looks back. <laughs> well, <laughs> see you soon. You guys here. Uh, and you guys, uh, where are you going? Bed bolts and beyond. Closed. Closed. Okay. Oh, we guys are waiting, no around, waiting around to get uh, to see Eden. Well, it's about evening now. You said right. And sun is starting to set. Is what I said. No, no. Can we midnight, take though. a Can we take a short rest? You can. Uh, and I guess we do that, and I'll just stare directly at the sun. I was at eight HP, by the way. Yeah, I I know. <laughs> I knew you were tiny, like tiny baby oh, I was, mode. Oh, I was tiny, tiny, small. What's next? Okay, everyone, hold your breath. And I grab them, and and I'm gonna. Die. Oh wait, no, she's off work. Um, I'm yeah, gonna not going <laughs> not do that. We're going to the bar. Uh, yeah, you drown your your crewmates. You're tired of it <laughs> <laughs> for no reason whatsoever. Yeah. You short rest to wait for the sun to go down the rest of the way, and you make your way through the coral port and to uh, the large <clears throat> large pirate ship turned into the tavern. And now you can see that the pirate ship is actually flying a few cl flags, just like a like a like eight or so flags, just kind of flying on the on the different masts that are holding up the different buildings and stuff as it increases That's in cool. level. Yeah. And uh, you walk in and it is basically the exact same as the last time you were here. Anyone who is here that is a pirate does not seem to care of anything that has happened today, but you guys walk in and immediately you will actually get greeted by uh, and actually you guys say more of the pirate code when you come in. Yeah, since we're coming in, can we have a free other one from the pirate coat? You have to say it to get in. You don't get a free oh, one. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll, I guess we all say the piss one. <laughs> yeah. Piss and also consent. The pissing. Um. Since pissing. I think I have one. Hang on. I think I have one more. Oh, no, none of these get you in, guys. <laughs> I shouldn't have asked. <laughs> oh, fuck. I shouldn't have fucking asked. <laughs> um. Okay. <laughs> don't piss your pants. That's number one. <laughs> All right, you say, I mean, you say don't piss your pants and you go in, but like. Oh, oh. Uh, if you just yeah. say piss. <laughs> I just think it's funny if we all like begrudgingly say piss as we yeah, walk we, in. Yeah, I just say piss like as the abbreviated <laughs> version of the pirate cut. I'm sure whatever you're in. All right. You guys <laughs> yeah, yes. Yeah, um, I'd say dude, don't pee your pants. Here, walking up uh, to get your attention and waves kind of bows. My friends, welcome back to the portal. You all look like shit. And you see Caspian just, uh... Do I? Um... When uh, don't we? Okay. Kind of like, uh, straight, straightens out his, uh, his vest that he's wearing. Adjusts the cuff links on around his wrist. Come, come sit with us. We've got the whole gang here already. Okay, okay. Jay, I can't look bad. You gotta, like, fix me up or something. Oh. Uh, no on, magic's gonna out. fix that up, buddy. Hey, this, <laughs> stay out of this. Oh, you're singed. <laughs> just you can just like, you can do magic wow. stuff, right? No, I can't. I'm out of. S <gasps> I have an idea. I want to disguise myself as looking clean and fresh. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Chip disguised himself to look <laughs> like fucking to look clean. Yeah. Like a royal dinner. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> you guys all sit down. And at first, when you sit down, it's just uh, Captain Lizzie. You would see that. Caspian sits down with, uh, with you guys, and Rudith is here with them. Ooh. Uh, you remember from Gerardo Island, the apothecary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sitting straight up, just kind of like sipping on like this cup of tea while uh, uh, Lizzie is just throwing back these fucking tankards and slamming them down, and Caspian is just Caspian. <clears throat> I, I sit down very like calmly and gently. Good evening. <laughs> Wait, where, Why where do you look Eden? like such a tight ass? Is Eden not here? Oh. Oh, God damn it! I dropped the disguise. <laughs> I look, I look, I look <laughs> shitty again. <laughs> really? Really, uh, Chip? 
Well, yeah, I got the call. She'll be here uh, any moment now. I'm just getting off of work, I assume. Did you uh, successfully do the thing? I mean... Oh, yeah. Uh, successfully is oh, a little we, bit Oh, of, uh, we did it all right. <laughs> pull out the book. Boom! Yeah, you guys caused quite the fucking scene out there, didn't you? Gotta say, yeah. I'm impressed. Uh, Lizzie says hey, you all. we do our best. Oh, cool. Uh, why are you knocking him back? What have you been up to? Blowing a fucking hole in HQ. I <laughs> wish I could have been there myself. Oh, well, you could be next time. Well, we're going to, um... We can't get involved with all this, uh... Wrapped businesses. We're trying to stay low and under the radar as much as we can and, uh... Hit them where it hurts at a different time. And then Lizzie pipes up and says... Ah, I thought about saving your sorry asses, but, uh... Yeah. Like Caspian saying, if we get caught by the Navy this early, then our whole plan to bring the the fight to them is kind of in the toilet. Hey, so you don't need to excuse yourself. We get it. You're just too scared to we, come. We had find it covered. Out. Probably. Yeah, we were fine. We were fine. We didn't need you to uh, prance yeah, your way no. in and get yourself caught. Gillian, what's wrong, my friend? You look a little queasy. Oh, blah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even mean to. I didn't even mean to look que queasy. Uh, yeah, I'll just, I'll just randomly borf. I don't know. <laughs> um, I just is everything really all right? Yeah. Um, no, everything, everything is good. Your sword, uh, sword did well in there. And uh, good news, I suppose, for your war efforts. The uh, navy will be having a very difficult time sending any comms out anytime soon. You fucked up their communications. You yep. Did? Yep. Oh yeah, baby. When did you oh, do yeah. that? <laughs> like Lizzie let, lets out like a hearty laugh, and then she just punches Caspian in the shoulder, and she goes, "Why can't you do useful shit like that?" <laughs> Caspian, Caspian, goes, Caspian <laughs> sailed half of a boat for eight days for you, woman. He's, 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 he's incredible. All I did was hit a bunch of shells and people. He uh, he swipes his hair back and he goes, oh, "Thank you, Gillian." <laughs> And hey, it was Caspian's sword that destroyed all the communication, so without him guiding my hand, where would I be? Well, I hope you enjoy holding on to it a bit longer. How's my... How's my... Caspian, how's my rod treating you? <laughs> Dude. It's... That's what it is. <laughs> there was no better way to say it. That's, that's the worst way to say it. It is an, immo it is an immovable rod. How the is the immovable... How are you liking the immovable rod? That's how you say that. It, that would still be weird. Let me that try means, that too. No, listen, Gil. I know you don't understand, but that means other things. Gillian, listen. I, uh... He, he raised how do you, no, at you. Chip, 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 listen to this. How, Caspian, how do you like my immovable rod? I, that's worse, I feel mm. like. So I said it the way I said it. It is what it is. Gillian, I like your rod quite a lot. Okay, Thank dude. you, Caspian. I appreciate that. <laughs> I've thought See, of some Chip, this is what here this is what give and take. This is what friendship looks like. At this moment, uh, as you guys are talking, Eden comes and sits down, and she quit, like just hastily sits down and, and removes the hood next to you all, and she just just in a flash sits right down next to you guys, um, next to you, Gillian, around this kind of like circular booth. Ah, the woman of the hour. He did. D oh! Um. <laughs> this guy's sad. Back up. This guy's back up. Uh. Hello. She doesn't have to roll the seven. Hi. I just... Hey. Did you just disguise... Did you just magically change No. Her? No. I just look like this all the time. I no, he so definitely doesn't. Did. He's never no. been this clean in his life, I don't think. Yeah, this I, is like the cleanest I can still ever smell you. I no, so... We got your book. We got the, uh... We got the book. We learned quite a bit, actually. Sorry, Eden. We... Okay. I don't know if you heard, but we caused a little bit of a scene. No big deal. <sighs> I... Kind of big deal. Kind of really big deal, actually. Really no, huge no, no, deal. No, no, big deal. No big deal. Kind of no big deal. Big deal. <laughs> covering her mouth. It's no big deal at all. It's just a day in the life of a... I suppose I should have inquired pirate. more about your methods. Hitting... <laughs> And uh, I, now I know that. Yeah, I mean, our our man Chip here wanted to blow up the no, place. No, Jay was just talking so much <laughs> about blowing the place up, so I considered it for a while. I never um, said that once. But I, I mean, I, and then I, you touched 
the vice admiral's hand <clears throat> to was, see if it was, it was soft. Really soft. It was really soft. It was really soft. That's so you good for it. you. you I'm so bad. Anyways, yeah, we got the. Uh, <clears throat> when asking for your <clears throat> aid again, I will make sure it's not a quest that requires. Um, anyways, do you have the? Yes. I would. Yeah, I would. We got if it, you're we got comfortable right sharing with all of us, I would very much. I slider the book. Okay. And she, uh, she doesn't actually open the book here. She kind of, like, tucks it beneath her, her, the cloak she's wearing. Okay, and this has the location it's moving to. Uh, it's I, being moved to the Solstice Stronghold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Solstice Stronghold. <laughs> they also mentioned if this is any help, uh, keep an eye out. Apparently there is a fish girl informant, too, so be careful who you trust. And some chosen one who's apparently... And, okay, uh, all right. And a quote-unquote chosen one somewhere. Lizzie slams another tanker present. down and she goes, The Solstice Stronghold? And then Caspian, like, looks at her like... He, like, shakes his hand. Shut up. Quiet. Uh, uh, Captain. Captain. And um, she goes, That's where we're planning to hit whenever we gather enough pirates for our army. Oh, well, that works out then, yes? Well, when it's time, I mean, I'm planned on calling on your help if you haven't changed your mind, Chip. Oh, yeah, yeah. We were just going to uh, hit the, uh, you know, Solstice Stronghold. Do a little heroics. We do. We get up to that a lot. Why are you so sweaty? <laughs> it's just really you hot. You smell worse than normal. It's just really hot. It's just really hot. You're, you're, okay. you're wetter just, than normal just, by a wide margin. Isn't that yeah. a good thing? Isn't that like a good thing? I guess it's just... Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm All just right. Like, Proud of you, man. Keep it thanks. up. Thanks, dude. Thanks. Yeah. Doing my best. <clears throat> but yeah, yeah, Lizzie will will Lizzie will totally do that with you. We'll totally do that with you. Eden looks at you, uh, Gillian, and says, "You don't need to worry, okay, about um about that." I mm -hmm. She like looks around the room. Good. I I know these guys Difference. were worried that it was you. Could you believe it? No, I thought maybe you were just doing like a double agent thing. You know, you seem pretty smart. You could pull something like that off. You all are very inquisitive. I will say that at the moment and in this place, in this time. What I want to say to you all, I can't yet. But I promise, and she looks right at you, Gillian, with like a, a an endearing and genuine facial expression. She says, I promise. The moment I know it's right, I'll tell you everything. I trust you. Everything that I have to keep a secret right now. But this helps. This book, if it's filled with logs, it helps. And you don't need to worry about it more from here. Until... Until Lizzie calls for you. Right, Captain Lizzie? Yeah. I think we'll coordinate our efforts whenever we plan to strike. If we get lucky, maybe, uh, maybe that, uh, Leviathan won't be there. Or if we get luckier, it will. <laughs> so you know something about this other chosen one? Uh, no response. Oh. She just kind of looks at you. And then looks away. As Caspian well, great, because I don't want to know. No, Caspian we, pipes we... in and he goes, <gasps> Look, the Navy is already uh, more than enough to have to deal with if we're, if we're gonna hit the so stronghold. There's gonna be vice admirals there, and we're gonna have to. It'll be a big battle eventually, and we need help. And if there's a fucking Leviathan, oh boy, I mean, I'll, uh, I'm not uh, the strongest sorcerer around, but. It's gonna be more vice ad. I'm gonna need to buy a whole lot of swords. <laughs> Eden, where do you think you're headed after this? Um, she like looks up. Uh, and then looks back at you. Usually during the day, should you need, and I don't recommend you stay here. In Allport, at least not with the scene. Come back after a month or so at least, but... Most days, 
I still will be in the tank. Behind the bar. I have to keep to myself then for now. Okay, but you have to you have to call Caspi and I call every night. Maybe we can we can loop you in on that. <laughs> Feel free Three to call. Three-way conch shell call. As long as I'm in a space where I can answer, I'll answer. Well, times work best for you. I, I pull out this little <laughs> notebook. You yeah, see, it's got Caspian like little, it's got little, dude, it's got, it's like you. a fucking G cow with like Caspian and John slots and I'm penciling in Eden. <laughs> well, I mean, she would, she would share at least like one yeah, or two days. You don't have to say specifically like <laughs> three one or two days. Blue standard always, time, always Gillian. during Thanks the noon. Thanks for asking. Yeah. Always during noon, kind of like a lunch break hour. Love but it. it's not lunch very often. Break. Penciling it in. Done. Anytime well, after midday, not good. Hey, maybe me and uh, maybe me and Jay go grab some more drinks for the table on us. But Lizzie sure, lets out this man. loud. I can't do it, but Lizzie lets out this loud belch. No, uh, just bring the keg over. You got it, Captain Lizzie. <laughs> Give All her right. kind of a salute. Sure. Gil's being real weird about this. What do you mean? I. You, I mean, like, I get it. You should be more interested in wanting to find about this. Yeah. But, and, like... You know, Eden's great and all. She hasn't told us anything. I mean, no, she hasn't. But she did give us a, her word. <laughs> Question mark. Look. <laughs> I want to trust her. I really, really want to trust her. It's just... I thought well, we'd have here, something by now. Here's the problem with that. We already did what she needed us to do. It's kind of out of our hands at this point. There's just more that she knows that we're not getting, and I'm not going to press her about it. It's not my sister. I'm not the chosen one. I mean, yeah, me neither. Um, unless you're saying you want to snoop somehow, but I don't know how we're going to... No, I don't... Gil wouldn't like that. No, he wouldn't. I'll look at Gil. <laughs> <laughs> Give uh, them a thumbs up. <laughs> well, Eden, Eden <laughs> would be. You up. guys would, would probably enter more of like a casual conversation as she's inquiring and playing around with pretzel. And uh, from Jay's shoulder, which uh, I have been forgetting to mention, but uh, Apple did return with Chip whenever he mm -hmm. came back, and she's Lovely. been flying around. She was on the ship when you guys got back after the uh, battle with Raft HQ, and she just flies from Jay's shoulder over to the table and starts pecking on the table next next <laughs> to Apple in front of Gillian and Eden. It, it lightens the mood for sure, which was once a little tense. I get being a little inquisitive, but right now our only option really is to trust her, because we're not going to get any information otherwise. I guess. I just... What if Gil's not the in our chosen one? What if there's another chosen one? He's going to try and kill that one. <laughs> Well, that would... How could you suggest such a thing? <laughs> <laughs> that would be fucked up, first of all. His entire life is based around being the chosen one. That's what I'm saying. It would destroy him. You just, like, casually hear me in, in, the, in the background <laughs> having another conversation. Like, yeah, I do it in a heartbeat. Completely <laughs> 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 <You're> different. <laughs> well, then maybe it's for the better that he doesn't find out right now. I, I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. I think. I think we should know more. Maybe. Well. Maybe we let it go for now. Well, if we want to know more, I think the best bet would be to start with Gil. Because there's already a ton we don't know about him. What do you mean? We know he's like from the undersea, he's probably from an egg. What's the prophecy, <laughs> Chip? <laughs> I hope prophecy. this remains the mystery of Riptide for the entire fucking night. We know, we know how like, he was chosen, but what is he actual... What is he destined to do? You ever think about that? I don't know. I kind of thought it was like a saying. Like, I can't think of any sayings right now, but you know what I mean. Chip, this is Gilliam we're talking about. He doesn't know any sayings. God, you're right. <laughs> he doesn't know any sayings. What is it his destiny to do? I don't know. You could always ask. I mean, we've been yeah. together for how long? Surely you could tell us. Sure. Hey, help me carry this. Okay, I got it. <laughs> it costs, it costs about five, five gold. Does anybody I'll, have five gold? I'll pay the five gold. Yeah. Okay. okay, I was gonna thank God. Okay. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm tired of being the, 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 the money person. 
Jay the banker. <laughs> I got it. I got it. Let me do it. I got. I got to do this. I got it. Hey, you got it. <laughs> you're trying to. You're trying to impress Eden again. Yeah, is fine. that? Is she looking though? Is yeah. she like? Is she no, looking? she's not. Nope. <laughs> she's not. No. She, do okay. you need, <laughs> hey, Chip? Do you need help over there? No, I got Eden. it. I, I got it. I got it, Gil. I got it. I'm good. Open it. We're good. Actually, the only people looking are the. Oh. Tell me. Just tell me. Get it real quick. Like while she's not. Okay. One. Okay, when I grabbed the other side of it. And just, it's just, holy shit, okay. It's, yeah, just it, walk it is, with it. it. It isn't any any easier to carry, actually. Jay is not strong. What is your strength? <laughs> Eight. Eight total? Yeah. Bro, my dex is six, man. Don't give him that look. <laughs> oh. Yeah, my strength You don't have is to roll high. to pick this up. It's up to you, really. Yeah. <laughs> I'm measuring it's not wanna, that heavy. I want to roll. I want to roll. I mean, it's heavy, but like... Yeah, I'm gonna roll oh, two. 19. Okay. Yeah, you got it. Oh, on your oh own. 15. Whoa, dude, yes. you've been working out? Yeah, I have been. Help me move this before I pass out. <laughs> <laughs> I, I put one hand on like the other side of it and just carry it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Just enough to make it a little just <laughs> shimmying. Yeah, right, you guys, like, re you like guys reunite table. with the table, Ooh. yep. Ah, right here, Lizzie. A bit of it kind of leaks out of the, the keg and splashes onto Eden. Oh. Oh, uh, sorry. Let uh, me chip. <laughs> let me get that. Uh, uh, I guess me and Roy reaches up, snaps his finger, and the the whole water prestigitates away from her cloak. It's completely dry. Uh, no worries. Just sit down with us. Well, thank you, okay. Caspian. Yeah, thank you, Caspian. <laughs> <laughs> I sit down. <laughs> yeah. Um. And it's up to you guys what you want to do. If you want to continue talking or, or or what else you want to do for the night. But that is the majority. I think we'll. Before oh, yeah. uh, Gilly, Gilly is chill. chill. Before Eden gets up to leave, she goes. Before I depart, I hope to see you guys. And you too. Wonderful, uh, <clears throat> wonderful meeting your friends, Gillian. I think you're in good hands. Yeah, he's in. He's in great hands. It's good. I have gifts, and she pulls out oh. these three um, oh. spherical bottles. Um, and just kind of like sits them on the table. They seem to be these filled with like red liquid. So if you get oh, in a pinch, uh, and these are so three nice. potions of greater healing. Oh, cool. Oh, bless. Um, oh, I actually have some, uh, a gift for you too. I reach into my pocket, pull out string. <laughs> 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 um, a bell and a candle. Wait, wait, can you can you hold on that for one second? Because it will be funnier. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to produce the the moonlight crystal that I bought, um, and uh, 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 give it to Eden, um, and say we found this. In, I found it just in Bed Bolton Beyond, but for some reason it reminded me of you, even when the stars weren't in sight. To have a guiding light there. Keep this. Chip, you said you had something too? <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, uh, uh here you go. <laughs> and it is? Oh, it's strings. <laughs> like lint. <laughs> a, a bell <laughs> and a candle. <laughs> wow. She, she... <laughs> She kind of brings her uh, the base of her palm up to to wipe her eye, and she says, "Thank you, thank you, Killian. It would be nice to have something to make it feel like you're close by." She looks at the things on the table. She ignores the candle, and she grabs the <laughs> bell and the string. She ties the string around the bell, and she ties that bell to a to a, like around a, um, the vest of her shirt. I'm gonna just. Pull her in for a second for a hug, mm -hmm. um, and just whisper in her ear. Seeing you again made me realize I do have a home. And then uh, back off. Man, we're useless, Chip. Can't do shit, bro. <laughs> Can't do shit. <laughs> <laughs> she smiles at you, Chip. And a reminder of that he's not alone. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. She puts her hand on your face, Gil. See you soon. 
See you soon. I turn around and just like cry. <laughs> <laughs> As soon as she says that, like I, I, it's like he looked like he he had his chest puffed and he like had a speech prepared, but as soon as she said that, he just like. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, even when her fingers leave your face and she walks out of the porthole, uh, you can still feel the touch, the gentleness, someone who loves and cares for you very much. And Lizzie's passed out. <laughs> <laughs> I. A goofy smile looking at like looking at her leave look over at Lizzie and just kind of like disgust on my face <laughs> <laughs> You see as he looks over at disgust uh, on his face looking at Lizzie I look over smiling uh, at Eden leaving look over at Chip see him smiling and eating and a, and a look of disgust comes over my <laughs> face <laughs> <laughs> Um casting the heart and right excuse me excuse me this is all grand and he like puts his uh lizzie's arm around his shoulder i have to go get this captain back to the captain's quarters i believe in the morning we shall be heading off into the northern sea our crew has grown quite exponentially but we have a bit ways to go and um <clears throat> and Ruth rooted stops drinking <clears throat> his tea yes i am uh, yeah. actually i uh, good to see you all again. If you get the chance, find yourselves a doctor. Because the Northern Sea is dangerous. And without help, it will be hard to recover from hard pants. We get it, Rudith. You're cool. <laughs> will do, Rudith. Uh, thanks, Caspian. Um, safe travels back to your ship. We have some important things to get to, so we'll see well you later. We do? Okay, <laughs> sure. Stay safe. Caspian, when will we see you again? And also, do does 3 p.m. still huh. work for you? Every uh, <laughs> Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday is now I'm doing Eden. Unless our ship is getting sold in half again, then uh, that should work. And well, I, thought, I think, I guess we'll see each other whenever, whenever it's the big day. And we have to unite against the Navy. Ooh. You know It'll what I call that? Now, you know what I, I call that? I call that. Destiny. <laughs> well, stay safe and get stronger, all of you. you we'll too. need your strength when it's time. Chip, stay okay. moist, friend. Chipper, a word of advice. Cool it. Cool it? I'm cool. What do you mean? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, finally something I can agree with. I'm cool. A woman like Eden will never bat an eye at you until you show her that you deserve it. There should have been a period at the first part. We didn't need, we didn't need to keep going with the sentence. <laughs> I yeah. see the way he efforts. Just cool no, it, man. It's, it's cool just it. like, it's just... Chip, right. don't listen to this guy. Stay yourself. Stay And of course, <laughs> and he, puts, you, he, like, he like bats one of his hands, the other one's still holding Leslie on Gillian's shoulder. And if this is your infatuation, good luck battling the brother. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> but it's not though, and it's just <laughs> Caspian, that guy. And he winks at you, Jay, and smiles. He says, "You take care of yourself." You as well, Caspian. It's been a long time yes. since Captain Lizzie has uh, considered anyone else outside of this crew her friend. Not but even she does. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, uh, if you've ever her. had like a little bastard brother before. You're not gonna believe this. What the spotlight. hell, man? <laughs> what did I do to you? <laughs> Bust of luck. Riptide pirates. And he turns and the fucking vest flurls. <laughs> He's oh, gone. So cool. <laughs> so cool. Um, yeah. That guy. What do you guys do? <clears throat> okay. Squirties! Now that he's gone, um... <laughs> you know, we've... We've seen a lot of hardships in the past few days. We've done a lot more than I thought we would. Um, maybe haven't told each other everything, but still had each other's backs and we still have a lot more ahead of us. So let's get down to business. Riptide Pirates? And defeat the Huns. The Huns. Let's get drunk. <laughs> Good oh, idea! <laughs> Woo! Alright. Uh, we we, really all drunk. three of us do keg stands. 
<laughs> so you guys reminisce the on the days, days. <laughs> of the of the big chipper, and you do some keg stands. The, the whole what? roll roll performance check, all three of you. Okay. okay, performance check for my keg stand. I see reminisce on the on the days from the big twenty five, four. Uh, I would like to use my last third level spell slot to cast enhance ability and give us all advantage on this check. Thank you. This is so important, guys. Eleven. Twenty three. Okay. Mine's weak still. <laughs> no, How's your no. Stand, Shep? How's your check? Whoa, group, you got a 25? Check. I got you a 25. Guys, you guys ignite, awesome. even though it's later here, you guys ignite the energy within this tavern and all kinds of walks of life, pirates Everybody's and Everybody's doing keg stands. Everybody is still <laughs> surrounding you everyone. as you three are doing this, like, triple fucking headstand, like, like one one tube from one mouth to the other, it's just fucking linked keg <laughs> stands. You guys silly are like <laughs> straw of keg stands, <laughs> and it is fucking <laughs> magnificent. Your names, the whip, the Riptide Pirates gain quite a bit of uh, renown in this uh, in Let's this go. tavern, and everyone here, uh, and you guys do that for the rest of your night. And I assume later you head back to your ship just to long, to long rest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. What do you have to do to get your pirate flag added to this tavern? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, that, how does, do I do that? Do we get it? Do we get it for doing kickstands or do we need to do more? Oh. Uh, I mean, you can easily ask the tavern owner or the bartender and they let you know or that. We just go up well drunk and fly. Once. Out. Yeah. Well, <laughs> once you're. Put it up ourselves. That's funnier. Once your crew total bounty is around a certain number, you enter this sort of like infamy <clears throat> between pirates. Mm. And that's when they start. They start to fly your flag, but we do actually go fly. I do, our, yeah, our we do absolutely with, sneak with, up the one with tits. Yeah, the one with we tits. put it up there. We do, yeah, it's one true. We don't know what to do with the tits flag, so let's put it up there. The next, I mean, like <laughs> yeah. the next day, it's or whatever. So uh, you guys back <laughs> to your ship. Just We're drunk. immediately gone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and you long rest. I fall off the roof. Before we end the session, <laughs> whenever you guys hit your long rest, about to hit my long rest. Should I hit my long press, rest? I pressed it. You guys rest. can, both of you can hit your long rest. Okay. Oh. But, chill. Oh. <laughs> Should we, <laughs> we mama? the ass! <laughs> Chip. Chip, what's up, pal? <laughs> I don't know, man. As you fall into your sleep. Oh, God. The Not wounds again. on your chest and back. Oh, God. The claw marks pulsate. Your sleep is disrupted constantly by a barrage of the of a repeating nightmare as you are awakened to your ship encumbered by flames roaring and growing all around you you try to wake up and stumble from your bed but you're coughing and hacking on the smoke that enters your lungs and you look to your left and you see just a charred body remnants of jay the barrel gillian all dried up his body charred and dead. You try and make your way up to the deck of the ship. And just all around you, flames. It seems as if the exits to the ship are barred by these walls of fire. And on the deck, countless charred humanoid bodies. And in a panic, you search through them. Flipping one over. And you find Ollie still hacking no. and coughing. Until flames burst from his eyes. And before he can choke out any words. Once he's taken by the flames, they crawl up your arms. And you watch your own skin blacken. The heat... The metal heated and melted from your replacement pinky finger. It crawls up until all you see is flames and then darkness. And when you wake up sweating, you wake up again surrounded by flames. And it repeats over and over and over again as you feel not pain from the flames, but a searing, deep sinking pain from the claw marks on your chest and your back. Nobody fuck with me for real. 
<laughs> uh, I get up. I get up in the. <laughs> I get up in the middle of the night because I have to pee, and then I go back to sleep. Eventually, and have a wonderful rest of my rest. Eventually, the next day would come, and though Chip's sleep is disturbed, you guys would wake up and see not only him drenched in sweat, but when you finally wake up and there's no flames surrounding you, you stumble and freak out of bed, and your skin feels hot to the touch, almost as if it's been burning. As if you've been inside one big furnace. And that's where we're in the session. Let's talk about Well, it. fuck. Yeah. Does he get a long rest? <laughs> yeah, he gets a long rest. Oh, okay. Whew. Okay. That's good. Oh, my God. So, that's fucked up. So was everything else in this session, because we suck. All right, I stopped the recording. Bye. <laughs> Let's talk about it. I'm just roll with it. Goodbye. Sheesh. Yikes, man. I really wonder what's going on there. I don't know, but I like it. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the episode. I'm going to spend the remaining minutes giving a big old thank you and a shout out to our patrons on the Patreon who uh, pledged to the high roller tier. However, I will be thanking you as my current Patreon campaign character, Rumi from Apotheosis. Your personal jester. I see you all the time in the taverns. I must say, you're quite talented. Cade 6 deserved better. Well, Cade, I think that we all deserve better. Sleepy Wither, I hope that you sleep well and don't wither away. Mr. Nacho, mmm, yummy. Wild James, we go way back, don't we? Getting wild together at the... Uh, I'll save that for another day. <laughs> We're Kate. Hi. Kev Senpai. I I've looked up to you for a long time. And it's because of you. Some of my stories are inspired. The letter, Seven. I... Don't know where I'd be without you. You're right in between six and... Eight. Wonderful. Fenrua. I'm not sure where you've come from. But you look ravishing. Did you make that outfit? Mitchell Iverson, I saw you behind the barn on my travels. <laughs> Double Dutch? That's quite the incredible skill. Mithril Gear 417. Your craftsmanship is beyond comparison. Juzambo, I love the way your name just rolls off the tongue. Grillian Fried Strider, that sounds very painful, but delicious. Boss Goat, you are certainly the boss of goats. And while I don't want to judge you for your escapades, I certainly salute you for your bravery. Record sin. I'm assuming the T is silent, but you won't be. I know that. You're going to go out there and you're going to tell the world exactly what it needs to hear. Artemis loves you. Well, Artemis, I love you too. Definitely not a turtle. Well, <laughs> if you say so, you can be whatever you want to be. Everett Stoker. You even got stoked in your name. How excited are you? There's something to be said when you can keep that optimism. Crobins, another wonderful name. You must cook a lot, don't you? I can see it on your fingers, the grease and the spice. Oh, I'm hungry. Natvin, whenever we played basketball together, I'm just kidding, basketball doesn't exist. But thank you for being here. Race Restyle, have you ever thought about I don't know, competing in a triathlon. Can you imagine the irony of if you won? Race wins the race. <laughs> Wonderful. Scarab, five. Your name kind of sounds like an insect. And while some insects are utterly pointless to the ecosystem, I know that you are irreplaceable. Sandy, 007. Well, now you've got me thinking about if Sandy from SpongeBob went around was a London agent, uh, an English. I'm moving on. Thank you for being here. Ben Manny, your profile picture is Steve from Blue's Clues, and I respect you 100%. Thank you. Cheshire, for the amount of time you've been here, I'm sure you have way more stories than I could tell. Kay, yeah. Well, Kay, it's been a long time coming, but I'm proud of you. And Blue Blin Blop, I don't know where you've been blopping around, but... Keep plopping to the flop, don't drop, and it just don't stop. Bowling ball iron. I assume you're very strong. And while there's something to be said about those with a mind that is strong, the truly impressive are those who bowl with a ball of iron. Steel Reich. Steel Reich. Ste 
There's no joke there, I give up. Cerberus, if you had three heads, all of them would be beautiful. And bits of small. It's alright to be a little. Alyssa. Hi. Dream Strider. Do you stride through my dreams sometimes? I apologize for what you find. Lord Ticklefish. Well, there have been more questionable names, but I do not doubt the skill of your fingers. Spinyax. If I could have the kind of clothing that you spin, it's almost as if every string of yarn you touch turns to gold. Buttery toast. I just want to eat you up. The actual buttery toast, not the person. Raytheon. That sounds terrifying. And honestly, I like it. Expo Galu. And that sounds delightful. <laughs> I hate it. Just kidding, of course. <laughs> material seaweed. Well, seaweed can be a material. In fact, I once knew a woman who used only seaweed to dress her dress. Gillian's biggest fan. Well, I certainly hope that you will come to like me just as much. Precious Nivy. Do you remember back when we had to fight that giant Goliath in the tavern? <sighs> Keep believing in me, just as I believe in you. Cornier Comet. Every time I look up at the sky, it is you who I think of. Uh, not in a romantic way. Chompiest Venus, 34? You certainly jump around a lot, don't you? Never stop. Your gal pal, Valerie V. And truly the greatest gal pal there'll ever be. Riker Kuroto. You have the coolest name. Have you ever considered being a protagonist? Here, how about you just borrow my sword? Nonzalotl. I once saw a little pink animal that rhymed with what your name sounds like. And for a time it was an axolotl and then... And then... It became... <laughs> Salamander. The big motherfucking cheese! I had to shout your name. Otherwise you wouldn't hear me being so goddamn big. Salutation. You know, I have never stopped appreciating those words you gave me. The wisdom I hold close to my heart. JRWI Enjoyer. I don't know why you enjoy this thing called JRWI, but who am I to judge? And last but not least, thank you to J. Newell. Without you, this list literally would never end. And to each and all of you who are listening, I have one last thing to tell you. No matter what anyone says, you're perfect.